Hello, it is I, the Eldritch Imp, and welcome to another Dungeons and Dragon Hunt D and D stream. Also, uh, I'm gonna credit for Ruby for who made the transition, made a very good work. This is a new thing for the stream, and also uh, we have a a guest, not our usual player right now. Uh, welcome for Vader. The stick guy, or also another pirate. <laughs> hello, 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 people. Hello, 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 Greetings. <clears throat> I am but Vader, and I am here to play nice. Hello, everyone. I so. We we don't want to introduce your character yet. That would be a a surprise. But anyway, let's introduce the other usual player, starting with uh, Echo Bear, who played as Clavis. Hello, Clavis Simnida. So, who are you playing, Clavis? Oh uh, yeah, I'm, who are you playing, Clavis? What? Uh, sir? I'm I mean, sorry, a human, a human player uh, in the IRL. <laughs> I'm playing Clavis as a, a Warforged turtle, and oh. I'm pretty dumb, but I know certain. I am knowledge. I am knowledgeable in some certain areas and dumb all round. <laughs> and turn DM. Yeah. All right. Next person to introduce is the main stick figure who also still wearing the second two eye patch. Um, Mick, would you introduce yourself and your character? Ah, uh, Yar, hide your women and children. It is no, um, I my name is just F. I'm playing a uh, half demon, half. I forgot what happened. No. <laughs> ah, yeah, half demon, half devil. There you go. That's the D and D in my name. Yeah. Uh, sadly, he's not an edge lord. Uh, he is dumb. He loves edging. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like an yeah, yeah. He's he's an edge lord, edge lord in a different way. Yeah. <laughs> I'm playing as uh, Mikolas, a uh, a brawler, a fighter brawler. Mm -hmm. All right. That's it. Next person to introduce. Uh, unfortunately, Mr. Manago is not joining the stream because uh, uh, because I think we did. I did and tell him about that we're gonna. Nah, nah. He didn't get the memo. Yeah, he didn't get the memo. So next person to introduce is Mr. Meowdy. What's up, motherfucker? Joke. Howdy, <laughs> sister Meowdy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love my friends. I love D and D. I I forgot to love my dice. So if I roll low, blame 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 Mick. Blame the flow. Whoa whoa whoa! whoa. Actually, holy shit! I gotta roll mine. I wanna see. Uh, also, DM. I put. I'm playing Tia. Um, I am also not smart, but I feel like I'm the smartest person in the party. I'm yeah. that, that that one D and D character that tries to make good decisions. Just <laughs> now, I rolled both of my D twenties, and I rolled a five and a two. I think they're tired. <laughs> What's that song? Cause I'm tired of being <laughs> all alone. And next I don't person. think I'll ever get today. Next person to deduce, and I'm hoping that she's here. The Drow Mistress Vampire uh, is Call Me Here. No, it's Call Me Kitty. What do you mean? It's Call Me Kitty. No, here? it's a joke. It's a joke. Uh, I think she got water. Uh, but all uh, water. Call Me's but getting water. water. I, I got this. I got this. Hello! I am Call Me Kitty on all the internets. That's Call Me Kitty with two Ks. I'm playing Marg Wex, and I have a dog named Poopy who poops real poop. <laughs> <laughs> poop, poop. 
All right. So, under the water, please <laughs> help me. <laughs> All right. So let's do a little recap as the party is heading to a abandoned chapel from Dragonheim, and it's called the Chapel of Saint Brenna. So. You guys yes, don't the have chapel any of Saint Brennan Lee Mulligan. <laughs> <laughs> so, fortunately, uh, are you guys proficient in religion? Um, yes. Okay. So, Saint Brenna, uh, as a a brief, uh, just a brief lore, uh, Saint Brenna is one of the greatest uh, cleric and also who served the sacred flame. Um, yeah, she's one of those great saints that she, she actually hold one of the great artifacts that exist. Uh, but that was yeah, actually a hundred years ago. And now... Was it a spear? I forgot. It was a scepter. Oh. Yes. And the reason you are headed to cha the Chapel of St. Brenna it's because the Knights of the Silver Order um, commissioned you guys to retrieve the scepter from the abandoned chapel. And you did fight a bunch of new mimics and a bunch of um, eldritch monsters that you guys encountered. And you do meet the wizards uh, from the um the amethyst um, uh the amethyst academy after you guys travel another hour you have reached the chapel right here so the chapel grounds it looks run down all the all the natures here are actually a little bit contaminated and no one has been tend the garden and also, uh, you do see like there is a rubble of one of the rubbles are like collapsed building. Um, but the only one standing, dirty but still stand standing, is this cylinder. Is this cylinder looking chapel over here? And as you can see, you have finally reached the chapel of Saint Brenna. So, so um. Aside from that, you have also met. You also have met the retainers that you guys are supposed to meet, and you see Meganot look at you, and I said, "Hello." <coughs> oh, apologies. Your smell just made me sick. E have you this just, Have you just been running? No, we ride horses. Ah yes, the horses so we we were waiting for. Yeah, no, this is our own horses, Freddy Ken. Bruh, this this not make impressions scary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've been hanging out for a little bit. I want to say something, but it's it feels inappropriate. But also, I made you friend. Where? I'm back. Hello. Is this the new friend? Is calling me. No. <laughs> it's a joke. It's a joke. No, I I did. It's not. It's not the cat. It's not the Kyle. Mm hmm. The what? <laughs> What? Who? Who's your new friend? I find an I found a tiny person that isn't Wam Wam. What the fuck is he talking about? Who? And Who she about? she pulled out a person from her Sailor Moon <laughs> purse. Oh no! And Wait, is that why he's so he's like this? Because he was inside your Sailor Moon purse. He. <laughs> is that why and, those characters almost bring them because he lacks air? <laughs> and you can see, <laughs> as you can see, she pulled up some sort of a halfling. And I don't know what he looks like, so Vader, would you introduce yourself? Yeah! <clears throat> you see this little small fella? 
wearing this beautiful junk outfit of a <laughs> makeshift scale meal looking armor here. Jumping up and down, looking at everyone. Stares at, uh, stares at Tia, stares at, you know, Travis. Not knowing the rooms yet. <laughs> and just looks at them with, like, two eyes. One for each person, left and right, in a very deep manner. And he just is. <laughs> and I quote, Gur? <laughs> Gur? Is that what you just said? <laughs> Gur? Hi. Oh. Good, I good. Look, I look at me and I look at Margwex and I'm like, we small people too. <laughs> good. I don't. I don't think. And I don't want to believe it. I, good. I've always believed in small people supremacy, but what the hell is this? Mm -hmm. good. Hey, hey, let's let's give them a chance. We gave Nicholas a chance. Remember. <laughs> yeah. Leave this. Uh, you already proved yourself when you swallowed that poop. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. We have intense hazing for new people in this here organization. Organization. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gerp. Uh, eat this. I give him a small portion of my golden, uh, brown gold. You should take this, uh, Gerp. It's tasty. I start licking it like a lollipop. Yes. Uh, there, there are bits of corn in there and unprocessed Ooh. grass. Oh. So it just passed through. <laughs> you know? Hey. It, it just passed <laughs> through. I, I look yeah, at y'all and I, I say, okay, um, so we're looking for um, a scepter. Yes. Do you all know what a scepter looks like? Of course, I know what a scepter looks like. And Megan, I pull out I... my quarter staff. Yeah, and Megan, exactly. And Megan said, "Yes, it turns me to it turns me into a sailor girl, magical girl." I whisper to all of you, even Gerp, "We're not letting Megan touch it." I found the staff, and I pick up Gerp with the scepter. No, no, I it's a specific it. one. That's it's it. inlaid with gems and such. Okay, so just in case, just so we're all in the same page, can you describe what a scepter is? It's like a quarter staff, but like smaller, and you don't use it for walking. I see. All right. It's see, more of a quarter staff. What do you use it for if not for walking? For pointing at things. It's usually well, like used by royalty. It's an eighth staff. One eighth uh, staff. DM, can I use prestidigitation to make a like non magical scepter trinket or an illusionary image of what the scepter looks like? I All found right. it. <laughs> oh, no, no. This one's not real. This one's not real. This one's not real. Oh, oh okay. All right. All right so... And I throw it at you. Uh, it I goes don't... through. <laughs> I'm dumb. I like it. You could clap this. You're magical. Yes. <laughs> I'm a ghost. You're a ghost. I'm a ghost. Me. Me. I'm just in your heart. I'm a fucking ghost, me. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you're scaring me. <laughs> and and okay, Yenna, where's Yenna, my Yenna? Yenna. Oh, 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 Mother Morpher to add. It's a uh, sign, boys. It's a sign. It's a sign. Uh, There's something there. It's a sign. Hey guys, I heard we're the lying. W two is uh, amazing. Showing me anything? Where is it? I sent it there. Did you click it, or is it like group only? Just a group. That's oh, me to fuck. join. Go, 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 go. I'll download the video and then. Bless you. Uh, we're, we're streaming now, guys. Ah, oh. hello. I burp. What? back. Hello. Hello, <laughs> hello. Club is in the door. Good thing we don't have cameras. Because I am not playing with my shorts. Hey, kid. 
Boy naked. Mick, Mick, Mick Slake in his tighty whities sweating. Uh, he's full uh, on. I, I, come I, can, no. I can see Mick from here. and He's he full is. on Winnie the Pooh. Commander. Birthday suit. Birthday suit. Hello, Commander. <laughs> Chill, Bye. you good? RBG? Wait. Yung DM natin yung walang wala sa ano, yung DM natin yung wala <laughs> sa so stream. Oh no! <laughs> Pubs, yung ginawa ni Kyle sa taas. Ano? Anong ginawa ni sa taas? She broke the thing, remember? She broke the window. She broke oh, everything? I, oh. I sent you the thing, I sent you oh. the thing. Oh, I'm getting triggered already. I love it. Oh, uh, so maybe you could use uh, Discord Reactive na lang instead of using the other stuff. Wait. The other tube. Okay, so the, the thing is doing the thing. Okay. I don't know what that means. The thing yes, is doing the thing. You what you do? Uh, <laughs> oh, how can I help? Wait, Inquire. hold on. This is Goss. Hi, Goss. You're all garp. Help! Help! His hands inside Echo! His hands inside Echo! Oh. Uh. Wait, where, where's my reactive? Um, Echo. Mas okay ba manood ng movie sa... Kay Noma or sa Directors Club ng SM? Uh, yung Directors Club ba ng SM is yung sa The Block? I don't know what that means. Uh, I've Club never yun. been to SM North. Okay, so, so may IMAX, may Main, tapos merong The Block. I think yung Directors Club sa The Block, bago lang siya. As in, Ooh. this year lang siya in-open. Uh, mid this year. Oh, brand yeah, new. Because it was, yeah, it was renovated. So I think, I think mas okay sa Directors Club dahil bago pa siya. Pero if gusto mo yung sure ka na comfortable ka sa Trinoma, yun yung sa akin, opinion ko. May ano ba? Is there an MRT station that connects the north? Di ba meron? What do you mean? North? North Edsa? North Edsa? North Edsa? Trinoma, then I walk. Okay, no problem. Yeah, yeah. Trinoma, thanks. From thanks. Trinoma, thanks. Trinoma, I walk. Yep, yep, yep. No worries, no worries. Oh, wait, saan ka ba galing Edu? Uh, I don't know who Edu is. Are we, are we not? <laughs> You're streaming, dude. Ah, You're streaming. Akala ko, okay. Bye-bye. Okay lang yan, okay lang yan. Yung <laughs> DM lang yung mula, we're all here. <laughs> Um, I'll be Ayan, coming no, no. from let, let, Makati. No, no, let, I, uh, okay, from Makati. I thought we were not gonna discuss it. It's fine. Let's get it over with. Cause like, yeah. All right. All right. It's, there, there. it's done. There we go. It's fine, bro. Oh. Remember, it's on. It's already on YouTube. <laughs> what can we do? That <laughs> is fine. I think I can. I think I can. No, no, dude, stuff. dude. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I really don't care. It's fine. Vice, vice, vice. In, in character, game? um, in character, I, okay. so none of, so none of you have checked the weirdly ball-shaped chapel. I start walking to it. All right, and one group, and then Den is here. He says, "We, we, we can't, we can't just break down the doors." I look at Nicholas and I say, "Can we?" Yeah, I hug the door. I the, the, door, the, the door might be over here, Gerp. Clip, uh, Gerp, that, that's a window. <laughs> that's a wall. <laughs> they want to pick this? you up. That's a sweat driven down your balls. Alright, he said... <laughs> that's a sweat driven down your balls. Alright, and then he said... We know, we, you know that we are the faithful of the sacred flames. We cannot break down the doors that it is the whole... It is a holy place. <laughs> okay. You may um, be a religious... And a devoted to the sacred flame, but me and Gerp are not. So that, I think that's why they're waiting for us. Oh, uh, wait, okay. I asked Margwex. Margwex, can you do you have thieves? What they do? What do they do? Me a thief? No, no. Do you know how to unlock your door how with your you? with your technology? How dare you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by by the way, you, I forgot yes. to mention something. Uh. 
there's also like a an exposed statue beyond like that uh two feet wall over here oh sorry, it seems what? like uh, oh. it seems like that statue is also holding some sort of scepter guys i found it dm i wanna suss it out yeah i wanna look at the statue and i wanna feel if it's suspicious <laughs> okay with your hands <laughs> Uh, DM, I pick Gurp up. Gurp, would you, with consent, do you want me to pick you up? Gurp! Uh, okay, I pick Gurp up and I put put him over my shoulder. Gurp, uh, Gurp, Gurp, yes, Gurp. Gurp. I am, how tall are you? I am 8.5 feet. I'm of 8 feet and a half. So, I think you're 10 feet high. I am. What do you think he's 1.5 feet tall? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's a foot. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I'm six. <laughs> six, six inches. <laughs> I am six, in six, six inches. Six. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 2.6. <laughs> okay, okay, so you're two feet and a half. Okay, <laughs> understandable. Gurp. Alright, uh, as you try to reach the statue, and the statue is actually not that tall. I think it's like around uh, eight or just eight or seven feet tall. So you do see a scepter. And the strange thing is about this scepter, it the scepter is actually not made of stone, but it's made of metal. Oh. Uh, Tia, I found it. I think... Um... Is, is this it? DM, does it match the descriptions that um, I either know from religion class or from what Zara, Shara, Sarah told Bryn me? Brennan. Does it match the description? Or does it match the description? Oh, well, you can, okay. Uh, you can see that the scepter is actually like made of uh, jewels, jewels and gold. But this one is made of pure metal, but it, it looks like the exact <laughs> replica of the Oh, the okay, okay. The no, no. Uh, how tall is this building? Uh, it's like, I think it's 20 feet tall. So it's a sundial. So it's 20 feet tall. Okay. DM, would you allow me to cast uh, Detect Magic and circle around? Uh, get, uh, why are you, are you doing a ritual? <clears throat> also, uh, also you're hurting Gurp. Is Gurp, Gurp not going to do anything to the center? Nah, nah. I'm, I'm still, I'm still here with Gerb. I'm still here with Gerb. I'm just uh, thinking. I can detect magic. Okay. I'll use the if the party allows it. I'll use detect magic and I'll circle around the perimeter um. since it has a thirty feet radius. Uh, wait, wait. Sorry, I, I need to say something. Ah, Mik that's really quiet. Are they okay? I think he's eating. Eating oh. the golden, no, no, the brown um, gold. <laughs> uh, wait long. Uh, before you guys circle the thing, I'm gonna ask Mega Nut Dennis and I don't know, Trevor. What's this guy's name? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, the guy's name is um, Kevin. So I asked oh. Mega Nut Kevin and Dennis to keep watch around the perimeter. We'll deal with whatever is in here. Uh, just make sure there are no like surprise surprises that we won't like. Mm -hmm. Understand? All right. All right. Uh, both of them said, "All right." No, can three do of that. them. Yeah, all the three of them. Yeah, we we can do that. The two of them said that, but Mega Nut said, "Okay." Okay. So I walk back to Clavis and Gerp, and I say, "I'm not okay. sure it's safe if we get that." Okay. Um, maybe, do you maybe have, later. like, that paladin, what's that thing paladins do? 
elaborate. You know the Divine CBGBs, sense. yeah, yeah, that one. Divine Sense, yeah, I can do that for you if can you want. You like to. pop, pop a quick one. Yeah, I, I get my core. I play. Uh, I get my core from a chest and I raise it up. Divine Sense, sixty feet, sixty feet radius. DM. Okay. You can. With your divine sense, you can actually sense that uh, there's something there's something holy inside the chapel. Now, as you can see, as you can see, the scepter is supposed to be holy, but you don't sense any holiness uh, on the scepter, of the statue. Okay, oh. I I can detect the presence. I can detect its presence, but not. Exactly where it is. Am I correct? Yep. Okay. I, I, okay. I'll tell that to the party then, uh, guys. I can sense something. My turtle senses are tingling. Can you? Sometimes. Do you understand like what direction? Wait. Hold on. Uh, Vader's trying yeah. to say something. What? What are you saying? Okay. Um. So I wanna go down to the ground here and just spell out. Identify in the ground. And I put a question mark. <laughs> and I look at Clavis here. Yes. And I point to the ground, girl. Your peer? Implying towards what I wrote. Identify. Oh, see the spell. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. The, um, uh, Are you smart <laughs> enough to know that? Joke, 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 joke. <laughs> Uh, DM, uh, do I sense anything here with my magical sense? No? Yeah, uh, okay. You did the, uh, the deck magic, right? Now you like the uh, uh, I use divine sense first. Then I will use the deck magic later. If Tia would allow it. Alright. I can, I can identify, but somebody has to inform me. Alright, um, uh, you can sense uh, the, you can sense the magic is on the rod. The rod okay. or the statue? Oh, the rod or, or the or yeah. the scepter? Yes. <laughs> Can Poopy sniff the rod and cast identify? Okay. Yeah. She can't do that. She can't do and that. I'm going to do that. I'm, you're just going to pretend. <laughs> Alright. So what you're telling me is Gerp's casting it on the ground while Poopy's casting it on the stick. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. And and I point... Uh, uh, DM, I sent something in the chapel, right? And I sent something here <laughs> okay. on the statue. Both, right? Am I correct? Ah, statue just, and... just the chapel, not this, not the statue. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I can only sense something in the Sorry. chapel, but not here um, in the... Play this. If I may ask, you sense the... Oh, you, you sense the... with the divine sense. I sense it with the divine sense, not the... the chapel, in the chapel. Yeah. But yeah, in, in the chapel. is it anything specific? Uh, it's ho holy. I think it's holy, but <laughs> I'm not really sure. It's celestial, maybe. I, I don't know. We, we need to find out. Maybe it's that. Maybe it's consecrated, or maybe it's just holy water. So we're not sure. Okay. Uh, so, well, I'm after we. Uh, wait, long. I'm after we talk, are they done identifying? Yeah, it's done identifying. How long is the identify? DM? It's eleven minutes because you're ritual casting it. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm on a DM. I'm just okay. you know pacing back and forth. You know, uh, I'm I'm like in cold sweats because uh, you know church. Yeah. Okay. Time for minus one Ari. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't Ari. you have your familiar out already? I, Are we really gonna enter the out the this this church? Um, yeah. We're going to open it, then check it out. You don't have to go in. Are you All okay? Right. You're sweating a lot more than usual. Well, oh, well demon, devil, church, I'm pretty sure that feels sacrilege. You know, I, 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 I don't even like the idea of me touching that staff. I, I feel like I'm going to explode. <laughs> but we're just touching the rod, not the staff. I mean, yeah, the, the rod, yeah, yeah. Guys, it's that's a Mar okay, Mar Margwix, Margwix. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, after after the few minutes, 
of sniffing out the scepter. You can identify it and and you can inform them that you cannot easily remove the scepter by hand because all you have to do is to press the hidden button on that scepter. Oh, oh no. DM Poopy press the button. May I have Poopy an opportunity? Press the button. It, Can we it fell off. Enters Can out. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Can Poopy pretend to be like King Arthur after he sword out of the stone? Just 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 for fun. Okay. <laughs> you can do that. Okay. Uh, what did Gerp want to do? Sorry. I I want to ask <clears throat> if it would have been allowed for me to start doing the portent stuff while the identify was happening. Sure, sure, I'll allow it. Uh, also um, for Margrix, as Poopy pull out the scepter like Arthur from the Sword of the Stone, like the Excalibur. And we're talking about the Disney one and not the other certain anime that they turned every male uh every male historical figure into hot babes. Bro, really? that's not true. <laughs> and Portland. for Poopy and Margrix, you guys know that this the rock the scepter is actually a rod. Oh. Is it one of them rods that don't really like to be moved? Yes, it's called oh. the immovable rod. Oh, Can no. I start stroking on it? Oh. Well, it's in Poopy's mouth. He's stroking the rod, bruh. Nice. Wow. Wow. Alright. So we got that. Um, how about we enter the... The temple, yes? Oh, sorry, Mikola. The building. The building. Uh, Okay. Uh, I'll make my way, DM, towards the entrance, and I'll be like, "Hey, what are you doing here? I told you guys to check the surrounding area." <laughs> we did. We just don't. I just don't move the token around. What, what's, but a, did. what's a token, Dennis? And, and nothing. It's the sick. It's the word for the sacred flame from above. Told us. Oh no, not the sacred flame. <laughs> the sacred flame. Um, to the party here, um, will y'all be resting up for Nick here by chance? Because I don't uh, know how, uh, I don't no. know if we could, like, you know, have an you hour for, like, prep or stuff. So I could just get my, my owl out by chance or something. Um, uh, yeah, we did look, just look, come look, from right. combat, so it would make sense to take a short rest, right? What, what happens if you don't have any hit dice left and you take a short press? Ah, well. Well, uh, uh, wait. I thought you. I thought you already have an owl summoned out. Uh, well, I do, but I, I, I didn't want to interfere and see if you like, you know, if I still have to cast it first or. Now you you get it. Just my, okay. you get, you're gonna tell me if you have already casted an owl because here yes. I made an owl. He's shy. Alright, uh, I, I want to establish if I'm going to be introduced with the owl or without it. With your consent first. <laughs> right, it's fine. So yeah. You, you pull out the owl. Can he? Alright. Can pull out. And the owl is I will know. But yeah. There's the owl. Owl mo? Like Elmo the owl? Yeah. Uh, I tell no. Mark Rex to come here and uh, technology the door open. Oh, gee, where are you? Down here, down here. Okay, let me technology this door open. Can we help action the, you against the door? I sure. can go I take I take out something like this this hearing with many tools attached, to many sticks with funny edges. Totally not. <laughs> A set of same stools. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's so, just your keychains. Be a question. Uh, how holy is this place? 
Um, I'm not really that holy, Mick. Cor- I, I forgot to put Thieves uh, tools on, so I'm gonna press Tinker's tools just to keep the RP going. Um, then Gurp guides you. Oh, uh, the bird talks. And he starts what? speaking. <laughs> Okay, what does he say? Sir, I cannot move from my spot. <laughs> I am stuck here. I'm stuck here. Please. Yes, yes. I am still I cannot move from here. Can someone please help me? With I Gerpen can. Guidance? Yeah, Gerpen Guidance. Gerp would like to guide guidance. Gerpen Guidance. That's a 23. Oh, wait. So does, this, does this do- door explode? Wait, Open? Oh, the, 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 the door. <laughs> are, are we... Wait, I... We're rolling the roll 20, not the dice? Oh no, I didn't want to roll through dice. What, okay. It's, is it, it's okay, right? It's fine, it's fine. So anyway... <laughs> the DM's like, oh no! I brought my dice out and everything! I my no, no, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Tommy, Tommy's like lazy to roll a dice. Okay, so you take like an entire minute to tinker this door open and you eventually um tinkering a- the door away and it opens oh eventually with the 23 does it does it does it open miraculously was like like a form <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> I, I can't move the owl, by the way. Just want to say that. That's what we were saying. DM, we can't touch the owl. <laughs> Wait, where's the owl? Um, by the sword. Right Stop you. The rod. Why can't you? Weird. We're, we're pinging it. The owl is the immovable rod, no? I am, but Gunther Ulysses is like I am and I cannot <laughs> move. Someone please help me here. <laughs> Master, master, who, 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 who are those? <laughs> All right, here you master go. Gurp. Here's your movable <laughs> owl. Thank you. Okay. So anyway, as you open the door, you see there is a grand room, the chapel, and the, and you can see beyond the double door, you see that there's like a hallway of decoration of candelabras, and there is like puddles of this brackish rainwater pool and in the basin and you see that uh in the heart of the chapel there is this three-tiered stone altar from the north the the east and the west hmm actually before before if anything yeah can i fly dm I want to see like an over. Like uh, this has a roof. Ah, uh, it has a roof. Right. Yeah, it's a roof, and also the two guards is actually entering, rushing inside the chapel. Oh, and, I tell oh, them wait. Nearby the oh brazier, and he started to pray the sacred flame. Oh, I hate this. I am definitely not gonna go in there. I look at everyone. <laughs> no, no, Nicholas, it's fine. If- Something what comes up, we'll bring them out. No, no, my, my problem is this this place being sacred. Hey, hey, hear me out. Stick your pompadour in. I, 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 no, anything but the pompadour. I, 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 go in, DM. I, I, go in. DM, is, did anything happen? Anything? Nothing. Nothing happens. Nothing. This this place is a fake sacred place. I feel like I should be burning right now. Y- you know this is this is, isn't Grim Hollow anymore, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, you know, demon devil, sacred place. I'm pretty sure that's conflicting. <laughs> All right. Uh... But I'm, I'm pretty sure I would be not welcome in this place. Alright, uh, give me a sec. I have to go to the bathroom, so be our No worries, man. No worries. So, uh, I'll just hang back by the door. Just in case, you know, this place doesn't really welcome uh, my kind. Wing creatures? Small people? Uh, Long. devil demon creatures. Oh, like grandpa. 
Yeah, yeah. Where, where's Grandpa? You're a oh, very he's... fascinating ah. person, said Sir Gurp. Wait, the owl is... Who's saying that? Are you translating Gurp's um, language from Gurpees? <clears throat> uh, no. The translator, it is I, all along, and the flower. And I'm the owl. For it. Oh god, it's an owl. <laughs> It is high. I am going to only see the queen for the well. The guardian of my fellow master group. <laughs> People call me Gunther, but you could also call me Group, since I'm Gunther. You are for the It's a pleasure I, to be an acquaintance. <laughs> are you both Group? <laughs> That may seem to be the case, yes. Indeed. Oh no. It's the main girl. Does not compute. He does not understand. He's special. <laughs> what group means. Alright, I'm back. Group is not just a word. It's a it's a sad. It's a <laughs> It's a it's mindset. A it's a mindset. <laughs> to girl or not to girl. That's that, the question. <laughs> Gurp is but the state of mind. Oh god. Gurp is not an identity, but a being. And I am but a translator. Can <laughs> you see Gurp going Gurp? Gurp? It reminds me of Japanese, I'm in pain. Gurp is him, Gurp is I, Gurp is everywhere. Gurp is always in your heart. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> like cholesterols in your arteries. <laughs> Alright, I'm back. We have Gurp, everyone back. has Gurp. It's like diabetes. You can't control it. <laughs> so, anyway. Uh... You see that the two uh, the two knights are actually rushing in, praying for the sacred flame. Nutmeg is just yeah. staying there and sits. Can we go inside? Why did they run inside? They are praying. Hmm. I don't like this. Ah. Uh... I'll hang back. No, I mean like I'm not complaining that they're praying. I'm complaining that. We were supposed to lead this expedition, but they ran inside. Are uh, they... are they... Uh, controlled, mind-controlled, or are they just very devout? They're devoted. They are very religious first people. I don't like religious people, okay. You too? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I, I, I will stay back here. Call me. You know. Margo? Call me. Do, 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 call me. Call me, call me, call me. Are you there? Maybe they muted their mic. Yeah, maybe. Anyways. I take a few steps closely. Uh, I... Try to remind Clay of this. When you did your like divine sense thing, yes. would it be okay if I asked you to do it again? Of course. Uh, I would gladly. I think. I think it's. How long is this? Um, instantia. Uh, instantia. Okay. DM. I would like to cast divine sense again. And can you tell me the exact location of where this uh presence that I'm feeling? I, you uh, take me to. I just remember. <laughs> All right, so you do sense like a holy presence, and it seems like it's all is located on the three statues on the alcoves. All three, all, all three. three. Okay, uh, I sense it on all of those three statues, uh, altars. Yeah. All right, I tell you guys to like look around for maybe a scepter. I'll look at the. Uh, I asked Gerp, uh, sorry, I asked Gunther if they could assist me 
like PM, you know help action type deals. PM, when I cast detect magic, Lats. did I send something inside the chapel? Yes, holy presence. Uh the 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 detect magic, not the divine sense. Uh, it's still on. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. for ten minutes. Ten okay. minutes. Uh, okay, so on the altar of the, as you can see on the altar box over here. Okay. Like right here. Hold up. Yeah, that that altar box. So yeah. you do sense like some sort of a um a divination magic. D divination magic. I opened the box. Uh yes, uh, I want I won't tell the party. I'll open the box. Alright, I, I just look and I'm like, oh no. Uh can you see me? <laughs> I, 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 I did not, I did not stop. You... So yes. <laughs> You open the box. As the box yeah. open, there is some sort of a magical enchantment, and do you hear that there is a rim? A rim? Yeah. You're getting starts... rimmed. Rim? You're getting, getting rimmed, John. <laughs> and go, 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 go. And go, you go, can go. hear this. It's see any more in so that it it's calling me. It's calling and me. And you can see inside that there is. Ah, okay. It's one of those words that I can't pronounce and I kind of forget how to pronounce it. Write ah. it down. Write it down. Yeah, you write it down. We'll, we'll say it for you. Silver. Or. You You were. You were. Yeah, this. You found like a silver ear inside, two spell scrolls inside uh, inside this uh, box, and you see there are three vials of anointed oils and a block of incense. Okay, so a silver ear. <laughs> Can you repeat that for me? <laughs> two silver ear, two sil uh, two spell scrolls. Three vials of anointed oils and a block of incense. Three vials of anointed. Um, do the spell scrolls like? Do, do, does it say what they are or not yet? Uh, it can say what it's. It, you can actually read it. What it, uh, uh, what the spell scrolls are. Uh, the thing is, DM. Um, I'll show. I'll uh. I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> but all these spell scrolls, uh, all these spell scrolls doesn't have the description of what the spells are, but the description is on the holy text of pamphlet. What? Guys, uh, I call the guys over. Guys, I need help. Um, uh, what's wrong? Uh, you, you can see I found the scroll, but the thing is, uh, <laughs> I can't. Read. <laughs> hey, Megan, uh, why don't you go play with the others over there? You're, 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 you're ruining the Bible, bro. <laughs> and you see, Megan. Mar Mar Margo okay. knows how to read. Margo, are you there? In Gerb's attempt to translate it for his newfound friend, Gerb, 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 Gerb. Gerb. Girl? I think you, I, I think you need to be there. <laughs> Wait, is Kobe alright? I'm looking at the owl here. I, I think they're talking, and I think they need their translating power. I was fucking muted. I was replying. Yeah! I knew it. I knew you were muted. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, Marco, uh, help please, I can't read. <laughs> I found two scrolls, a silver, uh, pitcher, and, uh, some oils, scented oils. Oh, can I have the oils? Uh, mm. Mm, why? <laughs> what? Oh, um, <laughs> what do you call this? My friend in town, the priestess there is looking for stuff. <laughs> Essential oils. <laughs> I mean, well, you know, yeah, it, these are essential. <laughs> okay, sure. 
Uh, I can yeah. take. I can take yeah. two. You can keep one. No, no, no. You, you can get all of it. I can get oh, all of it. I don't. You. I don't need it. I'm well oiled. You're a well oiled machine. Yes, I'm a well oiled machine. Wow. I don't need maintenance. Uh, I... I'll just keep this this pitcher, this ewer, uh, and I'll give the the rest to Margo Marco. and Miaudi. Pia. Miaudi. Pia. Oh, my name keeps changing every time I get copy pasted. <laughs> Oh, uh, DM, is there in something inside the uh, the picture, the ever? Oh, it's empty. I look inside. I put my my fist inside the ever. <laughs> I'll just check. Maybe it's not really empty. It's it's still empty. Ah, okay. Right. Oh, yeah. So the scrolls in, and everything. Yeah, the scrolls. What did I say? All right. Uh, Margrex, are you gonna read the scroll, right? Yeah, well, nyef, 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 God damn it, it's <laughs> Nick <laughs> Alright, uh, if you're gonna read it, this is what it reads. In chapter 1, verse 1, does this scroll from the holy, from the holy box, near and by for the altar of the one of the great saints, the, the one scroll that you hold, is a scroll to be blessed by the God. Blessed is the word, the scroll, and blessed shall be spread from one or two, but three individuals by the spell of bless. Nyef, 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 And chapter 2, the... verse 2. Wait, what's the second one? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Oh, oh, I thought you were chapter 2 in the first scroll. I got scared. <laughs> Chapter, chapter, uh, chapter one, verse two. Does the other scroll and are made of fire, but sometimes it is made of fey. It's still a holy fire, unharmed, un unharmed, unhurt, and it's a passionate fire. And it is the fire that is made, it's made of fey. Once cast from one individual, shall yeah. be called fairy fire. Yes, yes. Grab it, I'm an echo. <laughs> Smell this crap of sacred flame! Oh, oh by the way. That sounds painful. Oh, by the yeah. way, uh, actually, my mistake, there's actually four spell scrolls. No. Okay, oh. for each. In chapter 2. Oh god! <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> I think he's just <laughs> fucking with us at this point. <laughs> In chapter 2. We cannot, we cannot think for a third, a fourth spell, but we can make two of the third spell. Two is the spell of flames. It feels continual, unextinguished. No Unless it is a flame that will be continued, as it is the continual flame. <laughs> That's so yeah. gross. So yeah, two yeah. continual flames. Continual flames, like two spells grown. Yeah, ew. <laughs> yes, yeah. I will say them all in yes, so you don't know what they are. <laughs> Okay, uh, we'll just write them down, but we don't know what they are. But I didn't find the scepter. Where's the Does Gurp speak Nephanese? Do you speak Nephanese, Gurp? Gurp, Gurp. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Nephanese. <laughs> it's the long Someone's, getting, someone's <laughs> getting triggered, man. <laughs> we all know that. We all know that Mick, every time Mick hears Nephanese, he's like. <gasps> <laughs> Alright, um, I'll check the other altars, deal since they did emit a holy thing. Yeah, they, Can they all check did. This one? They all did. I'll ask Gurp to help action me if he could. Sure. I mean, I this face. And I thought this is my way of getting guidance. Disgusting. Okay. I'm a lot like... taller than you. <laughs> I caress his I angles. To... I thought oh, I had no. to bend He's down. Th He's tired. <laughs> So, wait, are you taller than- are you smaller than us? Yes, he is. He is an up- 2.6. 2.6. 2.6. Oh, no. Yeah, brother, that is God. 
<laughs> but I so you, you are correcting the, ano, no, the tail. My help action is words of encouragement. <laughs> Alright. Right. So in that statue that you're looking at, it, it you can see that there is the holy text. Wait, it's the northern one. Where's the the western? North VPN ahead. Okay. So you see this western statue in the west co- uh, alcove. You see there is the text, and it's called, and it is called Saint Brenna. So you can see this woman-looking figure with a holy stance performing like a... She looks like on her stand, statue stand, she looks like she's uh, performing some sort of a miracle resurrection. DM once more, what's the name of the lady in town? Uh, the lady in town? Yeah. Uh, uh, like the priestess. Is it like Sarah or something? Let me double check with that. Where are you, lady? Kami, do you want the thing? That the vest thing? Uh, sure, you can send me the link. You're close, but her name is Hana. Okay, Han. Hana. Oh, okay, so I, I and I'm all limits from all that. Okay, DM, I I say to myself, it reminds me of Hana. Um, I approach the thing. Uh, do I feel anything? Well, you don't feel well if it's holy presence. You did, but so far there's actually nothing on this altar. Um, nothing like an offering on this. Of the altar of this statue, but it's just like it's just a display. That's all. All right, then I'll head over here to the other one. I like I like look at the you know how uh, whenever you pass like a church, you do the sign of the cross. I yeah. sign of the cross or sacred. I don't fucking know what the gang sign for the sacred flame is. <laughs> so I, I do the sacred flame gang sign as I walk. Across these fuckers. Okay. Alright, so that statue from the eastern part. This is this is a, a very stoic saint. The stoic looking statue. And you can see the name is called Saint Veltruvio. The same uh, the same saint that who owns the scepter called Saint. Uh, scepter of Saint Vertuvio. Now, Saint Vertuvio is the hero of all the cleric, as it is the pet, the patron saint of Drakenheim, like point, the living legend. I pointed out the Gurp, and I go like, "Look, Gurp, it's your dad." <gasps> Gurp. Ah, uh, is there anything here, DM? Uh, unfortunately, um. Actually, yes, you do found something on right, right next to the two flames of the statue. As you can see, there's two flasks of some sort of a a green li- a green liquid wickedly vile. Hey, I tell your hey, look, what's that? You can take it if you want. Take it. You take it. I'm not taking it. I take it. He takes it, damn, he takes it. He takes take it. it. Be- before you before you take it, while your hand approaches the bottle, you see the light glows. And, <laughs> and then as you take it, the music uh, the, the music, the the song audibly echoes around this chapel. <laughs> Are we done yet? I feel like... <laughs> and you hear the voice. Thus hold this holy bottle of the alchemist of fire. God damn it. <laughs> wow. Kala mo naman, big deal yung alchemist fire. Are you gonna take the second bottle? 
<laughs> At this point, we have to, right? I also took the scrim bottle. <laughs> Alright. Same thing like you did in the first bottle. <laughs> and then... And then another audible voice. Thus taken! The second alchemist fire! God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> TM, I place it back, and then I take it again. <laughs> Why do you put it back? For the memes. Because we're the one No, I mean, that's what it says. As he's putting it back, I go, what are you doing? <laughs> but imagine doing this, like, more than five times, and wow, then the voice... Right, bro, bro, you know the unskippable cutscenes in the game? <laughs> What if it's like that, no? <laughs> no choice. Oh. <laughs> I mean, imagine like doing this five times and then the choir started, Hey, you fucker, stop it. <laughs> stop. It's like, stop please, it, guys. Please. <laughs> it's the bird, no? Hey, okay, guys, please. <laughs> Alright, um... Aside from that, Liam, can I investigate the flame that they lit in the middle? Uh, sure, you can run investigation check. Can I asked start it. imitating what they're doing. Okay, grip help, help a sister out. Gunther. I rolled Gunther. 14s, man. Boydens. Uh, 16. Alright. You see nearby these flames are holy texts. Common copies oh. of a holy book, like hymns of the sacred flame, they contain no rare knowledge or information. It's basically the Bible. Yeah. Is there anything that can like tell us more about the temple and its surrounding area? Um, as you do look around uh, on this altar, on this chapel. Um, it's even though the chapel is big, but there's actually not much to look around for information on the spell. But you do notice that there is a spiral stairs right here, like this one right nearby Mikoleth. Oh, wow, Mikoleth, apparently, there are stairs. Maybe you can fly up them. Uh, it's the stairs actually descend. Oh, oh look, look Nicolette, out. you know what's better than being in the first floor of a chapel? The basement. Would I, know, would I have noticed this while they were exploring this this circle thingy? Yeah, you notice it all along because it's been there. You know what? Yeah, while they're investigating the there, I'm like, guys, I'm just gonna get some air. And then <laughs> I go down. <laughs> right, as you go down, you notice that there is like an an iron bar gate, like a portcullis. Trying not to get exercised. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, I try pushing and pulling the portcullis. Is it like, you know, how is it stuck or what? It's not stuck, but it is locked. And then I'm like, guys, uh, at this I whisper this, trying to say I'm like, you know. As an excuse that I did yell, it's just that, you know, weird. So damn, I just like, I punch it. You punch it? Yeah, I punch it. Okay, just give me athletic strike or uh, you wanna like damage, the, damage it. Yeah, so we are now next gonna fly 20 feet, then rush 20 yeah. feet. Yeah, there you go, I have this thing. All right. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, so and... Let's say if I punch it, yeah, with all of my damage modifier, we double that. Uh, that's a uh, forty. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Great move. Great move. <laughs> give Give me a sec. That's a forty. Uh, well, technically, it's a crit, right? Because it's a structure. Double damage, double damage. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I don't, it's not, 
It's more of like, oh, give me a second. You know what? I'll I'll just do this uh, again. Yeah, it's forty. Yeah, yeah there, you, oh. there you go. That's the total damage. Then plus then times two. So it's like why you roll on roll twenty, huh? I don't know. Everyone's rolling in D in, in in the thing. Oh wait, you rolled, you did oh. hundred twenty damage. Yeah, no, I didn't yeah, roll on roll twenty. It was just call me because she yeah. she's the only one who rolled on roll twenty, bro. What do you mean? No, I, I thought it, I thought that was a thing. <laughs> no dumb fuck. Dude, um, uh... the DM said, the DM was like flabbergasted. Call me. Why are you rolling on roll twenty? Well, I mean, I don't want to roll all of this in the fucking dance. I only have one of dice. What's the point of having dice if you're not gonna roll it? <laughs> what do you mean? Look, do you see how many dice this is? That's like 1d6 plus... Wait, that's 3d6 plus another no, 3d6 plus wait. 3d6 Oh my god, 3, 6, 9, 12? 12d6 plus... What, what is this? 3d8? 4d8? Hell no! What do you mean, it's... Mick? All the people are rolling fireballs with real dice, how? <laughs> I Why are you complaining to this? <laughs> you only have one set of dice, DM! I only have one D6! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, anyway, uh, as you try to... They do it! They do it! <laughs> as you actually... As you actually, uh, try to break it, you did break it. However, the two knights hear that and they actually rush through the stairs. And they said, oh, What are you doing? I'm like, It was already broken when I got here. I just tapped it a little bit and then. Wait, I'm like, why are, the, why are the knights so fucking fast? I'm like, Guys, guys, they're persecuting malakas me. Yung, sound ng sintok niya? Yeah, it is. It echoes. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'll I, approach you. Alright, this is. You! You have defiled I just the. It. You have defiled I, the portcullis of the holy place. I got this. I got this. I got this. DM, I walk up to Dennis and Kevin, and I go, "Would you kindly uh, point us, point out where the switch is to take out the portcullis?" And you see, the portcullis is already open and broken. No, no. I'm yeah. I'm like, I'm carrying them. I'm like. Like, show me what the other option was. Because this is the only thing I see. This is the only option. We can Punching just, through it. We can just find the key. Oh, so I why don't you do that? Make yourself useful for once. And we'll explore upstairs. Ah, downstairs. <gasps> okay. I, I the the portcullis is I already open. It. I didn't punch it. And then you see clearly a, like a fist mark on the fucking portcullis. No, no, the young fist mark has like the metal, metal, yeah. metal <laughs> ring marks. Oh. Yeah. No, like, I'm telling you, it was still. I just touched it and then it fell over. <laughs> Why would you do this? Can you can you relax? No, wait. You have defiled this sacred place. I, I, okay, okay. What if, okay, since this place has already been wrecked and stuff, yeah, it's gonna take years before you have this place up and running, right? What if you take this portcullis and bring it to the village to preserve it? No, there's only one way to, there's one way to redeem this. You must repent. God damn it. <laughs> I repent. Oh, I swear there your space do not smite me. <laughs> but but how, how many times did you punch? Just once. Just once? Yeah, yeah. yeah just once. Alright. You'll be whip once. God damn it. On the back. God damn it. Uh... Shit. Yeah. Uh, guys. <laughs> How loud are you? Hmm? How loud are you? What do you mean how loud? Yeah, yeah I, I started yelling. 
Guys, help! They they want to hurt me again. They want they want they want me to get punished. They want they want to whip me. I I just I I'm telling you guys, I just touched the port police. How about we just go downstairs and yeah, deal with this problem later? Yes, sir. Uh, and he said, just one whip, and we are cool. Yes. We'll what? do it later. We'll do it later. I'll, I'll whip. Oh, all right. All right. I got this. Guys, I got this. Hey, but guys, guys, this is dangerous. What if the whip is holy? Yeah, that's why. Can I? Can I do it? I tell. I ask them. Um, I am uh, Hannah in town. He's my best friend. Look, I'll even coat it in some of this anointed oil I found. What? Ah, I relax, 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 relax. I'm like giving you a face, like calm down, bro, calm down. Yeah, in my head, that's like, oh my god, I'm gonna get smited. Smited. One with the smite. So DM is Nicholas like so Nicholas sweating for real. Do, do I roll like performance? Cause I'm gonna fake whip him. All right. You are you also gonna coat it to the ointed oil too? Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be a fake whip. Okay. So yeah, go ahead. Right. I get like I get like... some of my uh, not, I get some of the anointed oil I have. I cast prestidigitation. Then I make a fake one and I pour the norm and I tell Nicholas to shut the fuck up and calm down. Yeah, if you if I were gonna, if you're gonna kill me, you know, might as well be you, right? Yeah, Just tell yeah. my friend Clavis that you know. He's the best poop eater out there. Then I pour the uh, I pour the fake anointed oil on the thing. DM, uh, I make a whole show of it and I say, this this young man has been found guilty. I I do like the whole like you know Inquisitor Holy Knight spiel. Then I whip the ground first, you know, to test the whip. Okay. Then I like. I do like one really. Oh, why are you bending over? <laughs> no, I, I, I'm, I'm like you know, on the floor. I'm like, fuck. Yeah, and then I like start whipping towards him, but like, like a fake whip. I'm coming for you, Smithy. So, Nicholas has, Nicholas has a wide wings, so I make sure to target like an area between the wings so they don't see it. Ah. So, can I do that? Sure. Okay. Uh, have advantage because it's a, like a big show. Uh, let's just say deception on this one. Do I have advantage? Ah, uh, day I'll join you soon. Uh, you know what? Sure, advantage. Because it's making such a show. <laughs> Bro, not twenty and not nineteen. <laughs> Twenty-six. Okay. So, yeah, you did, like, made, like, a loud, audible whip. Like, whoosh. Damn, as I hear, like, the the whipping sound, I'm already frothing in the mouth. And I passed out. As that happens, I drop the whip, and I go to Mikolith, and I say, Oh, no! What, ha- what have I done, my friend? My, my, my Mik, my Miko! I... I wanna slide over here, Oscar, and I start bawling my house. Oh no, and Oscar! Just as good. <laughs> I'm frothing in the mud. Like I'm, I'm, I'm like a fish out of water. Like he, <laughs> I'm, he's, I'm he's like, using magic or flash. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, and you can see Kevin kneel down, hold Nicholas' hand, and whisper to you as it's. You are now forgiven, my son. <laughs> I'm passed out. I can't reply anything. <laughs> so I grab him by the ankle and I walk towards the portcullis, dragging him inside. Okay. And I tell the party, let's go. Let's go. As for that, I am dragging you guys to the next map. Next map! Dragging these nuts. Dragons! He's not dragons.
Everything seems fine. Okay, dragging, dragging. The have you guys heard like the the dub version of Dragon Ball Z? Like the oh. intro? Dragon, dragon. Yeah. The dragon, not the one. <laughs> yes. Bro, I fucking hate that song. <laughs> dragon Ball Z. Bro, oh, I hate that. <laughs> Bro, imagine trying to change. Chala. Hey, it's it's the same that? guy who sing Pokemon and the One Piece dub version. What's the One Piece dub version? I've never heard that. It's like da 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 da. One Piece, Luffy and his crew. I mean, the days of can you send me where's the where's the song? Can you send me the song of the English Dragon Ball? Okay, I'll look for it. The DM has to do something. I'll get it. Uh, I got you. I got you. Let me look for it. Uh, where is that fucking song? Catch the dragon, right? Something like that. <laughs> that's the that's the name. Rock that's a the dragon. It's called Rock, Rock the Dragon. Oh my god, Jay. Yeah. Disgusting. Uh, here, I'll send it in the Discord. Oh, oh my god, that's so disgusting. I, yeah, I sent it, it in the dice roll. Oh my there, god. It's in general. It's gonna be hype, bro. Dragon, Dragon Ball. <laughs> yeah, Dragon, Dragon. Damn, I mean, it's pretty epic, bro. <laughs> but if it's, it's not iconic, <laughs> it's just plain stupid. <laughs> We are, we are. Is that the name of the pirate rap? What's that? That's one what? piece. The the W kids thing. Pirate rap. What? The... <laughs> is this uh, is this it? Dragon, dragon, wreck the dragon. No oh, hell dragon no. Dragon Ball Z. That's it. That's the whole song. I, I think they play it like the entire three minutes. Oh no, I think this is the one Sil's talking about. The We Are. Yeah, you, One Piece or the Dragon Ball? <laughs> one Piece. No. So oh my god, this is disgusting. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I, I, oh, I guys, mm -hmm. guys, you want to know something <laughs> funny though? So, um, before we do this next part, uh, my good buddy, our good friend Mallow Games, is actually playing One Piece the game right now. Oh, sh wait, I thought he he's playing God of War. <laughs> no, no, that's tomorrow. He fell in love with uh, One Piece because of the movie. Oh, okay. So yeah. now he's like into it. Man, we, we should we should have introduced Malo the entire One Piece franchise. Hey man, he got this. All right, so uh, we approach. Uh, we're here. We go down the stairs. As you go Would down, you kindly all right, set as the scene. you yeah. as you go underneath this chapel, and you are now in the Undercroft. Beneath this chapel, you see like crypts, urns, clay pots, and you see like a luminescent, um, luminescent candle that has been flickered like purple, green, and octarine. And you can see that this chamber, uh, you can smell, you can actually smell the essence from this colorful flame, and you see like dripping water leak down from the crack of the ceiling. Yeah, that's it. All right. Um, I look at you guys and I ask, who wants to uh, go first? Me, of course. I'll go first. Okay. So you take that corridor, and we'll look at this one. We'll open the doors at the same time. Okay. As you go, no. as you, you know go how there. To count? As you go there, you hear a voice that says, "Stop." Stop there, meat bag! You're trespassing! <laughs> you better have brought us something nice, fleshies! 
Who's that? Who's talking? Alright, you see a merge from the flames. There is the they are meth fight. One is made of dust, one is made of flame, and one is made of like um smoke. And you see this. Can you see us now, fleshies? I, I point at Nicholas and I wake him up and I'm like, I think we found your brothers. Huh? Huh? I slap him awake DM like an anime. Slip, 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 slip. Huh? Huh? Well, well, what happened? We found your brothers. Where? And I point at the methods. Wait, wait, actually, where? I don't see it. Um, it's a bro. They're, they're like, Blending into the map really well. Oh, brothers, cousins. We are we are not demons, the dark one. We are mythites, and we do and we are protecting this very chamber from from grave diggers like you. Uh, we're not grave diggers, and I'm not sure. Is this one of them, Dian? Yeah, that's one of them. Yeah. That's huh? that's actually a dust min, uh, meth fight, and it says, "Yeah, what well, he said. You're just trespassing uh, here, Flashy." I'm poking his face just to make sure he's real. You poke it, you can see that one of his face dissolve into sand. Wow, you're amazing. And you see another one that says, "Hey, what about me? What about you?" I, what do you mean? Um, I, I, I raise my hand and I say, um, we're actually archaeologists. We've come from the temple of the sacred flame in Emberwood. And they've tasked us with searching for St. Vitruvio's uh, scepter. The sacred flames here, we haven't seen them for 15 years. We've been protecting well, this chapel ever since the Amethyst Academy sent us to scout. I, I say, uh, we thank you for your service. Um, you are free to leave or to continue. As what, are, are those dogs okay? Wait, hold um, on, hold on. You're are you from the Amethyst Academy? Um, I do have connections there. Mm, we I'll... recently saved, like, uh, members of the Amethyst Academy. How so, would you we... know, we're pretty connected. How would we know that you're not lying? Oh, um, I cast magic. And you see... Okay. I, I summon a mage hand. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> giant hand. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, as you do that, it says, oh, the flesh, he speaks the truth. They're mage boys. I, 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 I tell them, oh, that, I'm not the only one. I look at Gurp and I say, Gurp, do some, do some magic. Yeah. And then the Vader's back. Uh, he BRB a, a bit. Uh, I look at you, Mikolith, and I say, not you. I, <laughs> not you, Mikolith, for the love of me. Oh, I, I shake my hand violently, yeah, and then it turns it bursts into fire. I like I'm jacking off in a way. Magic. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, there, Vader's back. The fire. Uh, so Vader yeah. basically reflexing our magic to these like methods, like just show, do like some magical shit to just show them that we're magic users. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> Okay. Doing magic magic. <laughs> Should it cast darkness? No, it doesn't have to be super strong magic. <laughs> but press the or something or make your owl disappear. Ah, yes. Make the owl speak. Oh, bruh. I spared the flame. You spared the what? I spared the flame. Uh, uh, I sacred the flame. 
You yeah. have to target a creature for that, bro. Damn, I target myself. Oh god! <laughs> you you oh. wanna bro he targets himself. Okay. Sicker flame and yes, target yourself, go ahead and I guess uh, no. I guess you uh, roll your save later. Deck save. Let's do deck saves. <laughs> Dice yet? I got eleven plus one. It's twelve. Does it make it? What's your DC? Oh shit! He just makes it. (laughs) (laughs) Oh god! Your your DC is twelve. Yes. Oh god! Okay. Yes. All right. So as you cast it, proving that you're magical, that all this myth fight approach you as it's oh, he's a mage born. Forgive us, master. I mean, forgive us the calling you fleshies. We didn't know better. We scouted for your chapel, and you are you came back fifty years from now. Curb. So I ask them. So would you like to be set free? I uh, yes, but would you like to report? Since you, since you, Amethyst Academy sent us here to scout in the first place. Yes. What would you like as a reward? Uh, anything? No, I'm asking. As Maybe it's something that we can give you. All right, they gather, they gather together. Ah. Would you like something delicious to eat? How about you send ah. us? How about, how about you send gold? us home? Brown gold. All right. All right, guys. So I tell them to go over there as we start prepping our sending them home spell. Of course, finally, after 15 years, we're going home, boys. Then, like, I look at the party and I say, we have to kill them. <laughs> the element- no, I, no, I tell them to go over there. Then I tell the party when they move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, yeah, you do. That. I mean, they, they actually talk to each other and say, okay, okay. Like, all right. Uh, the magma, the magma mephi says, Dusty, Ashley, we're finally going home. Oh, all right. So <laughs> I, I, I feel really bad, but like they're elementals, they'll get over it, right? So I look at the party and I say, We need to one shot each of them, okay? Wait. Or or here should we go around first and come back for them? I think we can we ask them to wait until we're higher level? They're not that strong. How are we supposed to know that? They just look like uh, baby versions of Mikolith. Yeah, but well, you know what they say about the smaller the mightier. That is true, Tia. That is true. <laughs> Master says that he can... They're smaller than me. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's dangerous. Look at... Look at... Look at... Uh, look at... Uh, look at Gerb. Gerb's pretty powerful. Right, Mikula? Very... Yeah. Very powerful. I'm wondering why he's... Uh, medium size. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Wait, I don't have the special body token size. Well, I still don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. So I tell them um, it'll take some time for us to prepare the spells to take you home. So we're going to uh, go around this place first, okay? Of course. So feel free to stop guarding and just relax. Wait, of what course. if we put them inside the bag of holding and let them rest there? <laughs> if they die, they explode. They, they're elemental, right? They can't die from suffocation. We Depends don't know that. Depends on which one. 
Because, ah. like, I see this one, and I feel like I've seen one of these before. Like, this type of elemental, a method. Not like these specific types. And they explode. I'm sure I. Oh my know. god! Oh, you don't want that to explode in there. That's exactly. Weird. That's where all the bombs are out of character. <laughs> Alright. Right. So I tell them, the, uh, we'll come back for you. We'll just explore this place a little bit. Uh, feel free to relax. You're relieved of your duties. <laughs> I just find it happening. Um. And you just I, leave them there and never come back. I te- DM, I tell them the Amethyst Academy thanks you for your service. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Can we rephrase everything in this scenario? I thought they're they're desperate for going home. Turns out they act is quite opposite. They consider this place as home, but they're asking for gifts that related to their homes, pala. <laughs> Oh, rewind time. Rewind, rewind, rewind. Your mom racist. Uh, uh, what? <laughs> Brett. Brett. And you see, what? You, master, you say you have gifts. Does it? Ha- do you have any gift related to, you know, something we want? Like you gemstones? haven't told us what you want. Do you have gems? Well, right now we have gold. Would you like gold? I have brown gold. Ooh. I, as you say brown gold, is it? What is brown gold? Ah, it's it's like uh, it's like uh, taste it. <laughs> uh, I tell him it's it is the purified essence of a human. Nah, uh, of a being, not just oh, a, human, of a being, living yes. being. Gurp reaches out his hand. Oh no! Reaches out his hand. <laughs> All right. Uh, one of says mm, we prefer something made of stone and metal, not the uh, essence from the creature. Do you uh. know? That at the end of the day, we all turn to dust, and dust gets compacted into stone. Right, Dusty says. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's true. My grandma said that. Yeah. I point um, at Mark Wex. Is she your grandma? Grandma? Is that you? <laughs> no. We're not associated with each other. I I, I rebu- rebuke you as my son. I uh, renounce. I, I thought you were my real grandma. I haven't we're seen we're her for ninety five years. Uh, yeah. uh, I I pull out like a rock in my pocket. Would would this help? <laughs> uh, all right. It does it's sling like ammunition. <laughs> all right, Dusty looks at that. Yeah, that reminds me of my home. I can have it. The, um, here. Yes. I can take it. I want to look around for anything that's made out of rock. Oh, okay. So you look around. Um, the floor ceilings are made of like stones. But you also found like clay pot urns and... Uh. And you, well, you know one of those skull things that, uh, you know one of those skull things that there's candle on top of them, those type of things. Oh, wait. so he's a dust devil, right? Yeah. Uh, I got something better for you, buddy. Okay, I yeah. grab a piece of rock, yeah, and then I powderize it. Here you go. Told you. Okay. You said you that single piece of rock reminds you of home, right? But what if? It's made out of dust. <laughs> to add on to that DM, can I pick up one of the urns and give it to them? <laughs> Alright. I want all right, Cindy here. Uh the the mag magma my fight. Says, Master, you sure? De- I mean, you can- defecate it. I mean take one of the remaining urns from the dead, and you gonna give it to us? I... Girl. 
But I'm not. I, I, I have the authorities of giving you that, but I'll give you all this dust. I think for the la- for Ashley the um yeah I run upstairs and but there was a big fire. I cast I turn it off with Presty, and I get some ash and I run back down and I say, "For you, Ashley, Ash, <laughs> Ash, Ash." What's, I love it. Uh, that's a steam man fight. That's steam? dusty, right? Uh, yeah. this, Wait, is, this is this is dusty. This is Ashley. Like, Ashley, you know, Ashley. We, we, we don't see your ping. Why? Your why ping? is uh, no? I see his ping. Why is Ashley's name Ashley if she's made of dust? No, she's Ashley because he's like a. Uh, she's like steam. Oh, steam. Oh. I, I, yeah. So steam, uh, steam. If she wants steam, I'll give her steam, man. I get some water, pour it on the ground, and I light it on fire. And I make the steam go up. And I tell her to inhale the vapors, because this is anointed oil. <laughs> and I tell Mik- uh, Mikolas not to breathe. No, it's <laughs> uh, It's a good thing you mentioned it, because, you know, uh, anointed oil... Is similar to holy water. <laughs> yeah, I felt it, bro. <laughs> That's why I put a bit lang. You know how like your moms put essential oils on like your mga candle things. I do that just a little bit. <laughs> All right, you do that. Also, also, Gerp, uh, as you Cindy said, you actually giving me the urns of the dead. I shake my head no. What? Giving you the idea of me giving you the turn. Cindy, I shake my yeah. I shake my head no, and I just look at him with a smile. I'm confused, Master. I thought you're giving urns because you know the dead has phosphorus, and phosphorus is actually good for the flaming meth fight like us. Oh, you want like a flaming thing? Uh, fuck. <laughs> I grab a piece of wood here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I lit it on fire using my hands, and then like this. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, wait. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't think you'd say it like that. Anyway, so I asked them. Now that we've given you your rewards, would it be okay? Oh, there's water pull here. Um, we will. We would like to inspect the area. Okay. Got, so does. enjoy your just deserves. Ah, uh, just desserts. And we'll see you in a bit. <laughs> All right. I will see you again, Master. See you later, Cindy. <laughs> And they actually going to relax. Yeah, yeah, relax, lang kayo, guys. You've been working so hard. Uh, I uh, I fucking got this voice. I ask Dennis and Kevin to massage the methods. And you see, you see Kevin with five sets. You mean do- those creatures? Why? They're from the I... elemental planes of fire. And what chapel are we in? The sacred flame. <laughs> Then I do the head exploding emote. <laughs> <laughs> I also show. I also want to give one of them the urns. Okay, you give them the urns. And they start so I tell to... Kevin and Dennis to uh, massage them one at a time and take turns. Get like really in there, you know. They they've been guarding this place for 15 years. <laughs> all right, then both of us. Uh, all right, they started to massage the method, and it feels like they're having a hard time because m- most of them are intangible. Oh my god! That's not my problem. 
And then half, half, so if they take half damage, DM, do they also take half a massage? I guess half a massage. <laughs> anyway, after you guys massage this map, what we guys gonna do next? Oh, uh, yeah. So, uh, it's Clavis' exploration time. I tell Nicolette yeah. and Gurp to follow Clavis just in case. Okay. Go, Nicolette. Go, Gurp. Do the thing. Do it, do it, do it. I, I, I shout to Nicolette. We're, we're underground. This is the least holy place. You sure? 75%. Hollow ground, underground. Oh, fuck! Oh fuck! <laughs> is, is the guard smoking here? No, no, no. Come on, go on. Let's open the door. I, I, I pretend I'm knocking, yeah, but like my knocks are getting harder and harder. <laughs> we don't need to do that. We don't need to do that. Oh, okay, okay. We just uh, open it. We just open it. Okay, I'm, I am gonna open it. Alright, as you open it, you see a room, a round cylinder room. In the middle of the room, there is some sort of a, a winch. Go for it, Mick. But, uh, odd thing about this winch, um, unfortunately, it doesn't have any handles to turn the winch. Ah, who has the immovable rod? You guys have it? Oh, um, Poopy has it. Yeah, Poopy uh, has it. Does it work what? that way? Like, we use the rod as the... As the winch? Yeah, yeah, we can. Uh, the, the handle of the winch, yeah. Uh, I got a question. What, what type of door are we talking about here? What is it made of? Oh, just wood. Just plain, just regular wood. wood. Okay. Well, don't worry, Clavis. I doubt it that, you know, if this thing locks, I I doubt that I would be able to break it. Don't worry about it. Gurp, can you get the, uh, no? the, I, the rod? I, May, maybe I, borrow the rod. I think there's one more here. Is I, that a door too? Yeah, that's a door. I, I go to Poopy, and then I just start, you know, you know, like, showcasing a rod like figure and they're like gurp 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 and you just see him like stroking like a long elongated thing with his hand So. Poopy? Poopy? What's he saying? What's the big man saying? Poopy lies down. Rolls around. Runs around in many circles then gives you the fucking stick. <laughs> okay. I'll take the stick. I'll go over. And I hand it over to Mikola. But as I hand it over, I press the button. Okay. <laughs> 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 uh, Mikola, as you grab it and try to uh, grab it, and as Grip press oh, yeah, the yeah, button. Yeah. You did move I up. Fell over. You fell over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I fell over. Like, what the? <laughs> Stop looking around, Mick. Come on. I. It's this rod. And I'm like, I'm, I'm pulling it with there. Like, fuck. <laughs> move. We don't, we don't have, we don't have all night. Come on. <laughs> I, I, I can't. What do you mean? Oh, you try it. I try it. Okay, wait. Let, 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 let. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And then I just get it. All right, you get it easily. <laughs> dumb, you dumb. Uh... <laughs> okay, D 
BM, I use the immovable rod as the uh, le- le- lever for the winch. I... And I I twist. I, I mean, I go around. Okay, so for that, you move this winch. Well, actually, very easy. Uh, with a very easy with with the we- uh, with the lever. I mean, with the rod as a lever, and you spin it around, and you do hear like uh, it reaches limit like a click. But that's all. You hear the click, but it doesn't come from in this specific area. Uh, do I? Can I pinpoint that uh, general direction? Is it in this room? Is it in this room? Uh, it's more like it's audibly click, like it echoes. So you don't know where it is. Echo, echo. Okay. Echo. I know. Sorry, what? Like a person I know, Echo Bear. <laughs> I want to know. So uh, I shot, I, uh, guys. I heard a click. We 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 did a thing with the winch, and we heard a click. Maybe he should check the other rooms. I told that I shot that to the corridor. So maybe they should check this. Oh, maybe by the Tia. by the way, did you did you also like let go the handle while you click? Uh, not yet. I'm I'm still holding on to it. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, Mick, do you want to check this room? Well, not really. Or, or maybe this room? I, I mean, again, not, not really. But <laughs> we have to. We I, have I, to. I, I insist. <laughs> you should. <laughs> well, you know, you're already there. Check this out. Oh, fucking good. I mean, I... <laughs> right, revealing I, you to that. Uh, DM, DM, when I turned the winch. This one opened, right? Uh, it's already been opened there, but that's uh, it's already been uh, opened there. The the source is somewhere else. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah, yeah. Just go explore then. All right. For that, uh, you see that there is a fountain, like a round chamber on this circular stone font, and it seems like going there. Uh, is it Gerp going or Nicholas? Okay. As you can see that there is actually inscription on the basin it says May the sacred flame keep vigil over the souls of River Dead. And you see there's this long curved walls in this chamber and there's like five large panels, each painted like a mu with a mural. And each shows like the three flaming Flame keepers performing some sort of a ritual rite as a slain for the slain paladins. I look at Clavis and Mikolath yeah. and I gesture, You thirsty? Uh, I throw, I BM, I click the immovable, immovable rod, so I activate it. Okay. And then I throw the pitcher, the ewer, to Gurp, and I, I'm i going downstairs. Is this downstairs, DM? Yeah. I, yeah I'm going downstairs. Uh, you guys... Uh, yeah, I'll stay here. I yeah. want to see where this goes. DM, I, I give the pitcher to Gurp. Uh, Gurp, get me a pitcher, then I'll go downstairs. I got my pitcher. I'm like... Don't even think of pouring that into me. I <laughs> we're gonna have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know what you are yet. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> okay. I'll look at these fuckers working up right away. Uh by the way, uh, what about Margwix and? Yeah, what are you guys doing? Oh, I was gonna tell Margo maybe you should check this place out. Sure! And you see Mega I... Nut says, I come with you! Only Mega if Nut. you don't talk. Mega Nut, open that door! Okay, she opens the door easily. And you, okay, can, what? And you can see that there's like a Mega Nut size hole door. <laughs> 
And as you can see, there is a stairs beyond, and um, there is actually a wench without any handles. A wench without any handles. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I'm too strong. I put turn over before combat. <laughs> All right. So, what's over here? All right. You can see more hole. Right, well, come here. Okay. I right, yeah, I bring out my gun in revolver form. And I turn the corner slowly. He he does the R6 peak. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. I'm hugging like the wall. <laughs> he leans. Yo, what's up, Daddy? Oh seven, oh eight. Yeah. Yeah. Up, up, he does the lean. Hey, Daddy. <laughs> Don't say it like that. <laughs> He's not so thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sorry. Hey. Hello. Hello. Hey, Daddy. <laughs> <All right. laughs> yeah, I pick the corner and I bring out my gun and I see mm -hmm. Mikolath and I think for yeah, a I second. Think, to I shoot. Think you haven't seen me yet. I also take a peek. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, we'll we'll take the corner at the exact same time. Roll it in. Oh God! He's so ugly. <laughs> also, um. Holy shit, the beautiful woman! Oh, it's just you, Tia, never mind. Oh, Nicholas, it's just you. I thought uh, it was a demon. Also, also th thanks for the follow. I, I won't say the name, but I know who you are. You can just say daddy. You don't have to say it like daddy. Hey, daddy. Hey, daddy. Thanks for following, what? daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Alright, I think so. Um, I look at Nicholas and I say, what have you found? Uh, I, we found a, we found a spring, I, I guess. Oh, did you try to fill the ear with water from it? Uh, we filled the jug out of it. Did you, did you actually, do you actually I, take I the do, water from the jug? I take, I take the water into the ewer. Okay. War into ewer. War you are. Right, and then uh, I go back to Clavish. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I guess we go down. What is it? Is this uh, that? I uh, know that's a door. It's another door. Hey, uh, I tell Margo to come here. Yes, separating the party. <laughs> Where? Ah, uh, here. Where Why is Gunther go? with us? I don't know. <laughs> What's he doing with us? Let I know, exchange pets now. <laughs> exchange pets. Can, uh, can I come? come? No. Yeah, yeah, you can come. E DM, we go down if you'll allow it. Yeah, continue forward. Yeah, I want to know like what the others doing as they saw like this door, wooden door right here. The door. The door. The door. Why? Why are you pointing? Why are you pointing, Mag Megana? Hello. Team B. Wait, okay. I thought it was like the downstairs gang. First. No, no one hasn't opened the door yet, or anything we do. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Clavis, I thought you guys were gonna go downstairs. Yeah, then then DM said that you guys should go first. Oh, I didn't hear that. Mitalas, uh, we we will get Meganut to open the door. Meganut, do your job. Meganut, roll out. Okay. Bash the door. Another Meganut hole door. And you see this. Okay, so in this room, you see that there is like leaves, grass, dirt, and debris fill this floor in this stone chamber. But also, you do see like there is a an oaken an oaken iron bound door is stuck. Uh, is actually stuck on this door. 
there's a door in the door. Yes. This is going upstairs, right? Oh, every everyone every stairs that you saw going downstairs. Oh. And so are we going to split two by two or what? <laughs> okay. Um, I feel like we should just travel together. Whilst I tell you, while splitting the party might be a good idea, it isn't. That's how people <laughs> forget about you. It's it's perfectly sound. I mean, like you know, we're exploring all different parts. All right. So it will be Margo and Meganot, you and me, Gurp and Clavis. So that all sounds right. like a good combo. What do you think, Margo? You and Meganot. Go where? Um, so Mikolet says, we'll divide the party into twos, then split, like, each stairwell. Also, oh, in Megan, that will go south. Me and Nicholas can go there. Uh, you and Megan, can go here. What do you right? think? I mean, like, what can go like, wrong? Exactly. Uh, okay. I shout, if anything... Is if anything feels weird, shout Toblerone. Toblerone, okay. Toblerone. Alright. So DM, I'll go over here and bring Mikolith with me. Uh, I tell Margo uh, to go, go with Meganut. We're going to all go we're downstairs in people. different places. <laughs> For Clarish and Gurp, I wanna give us both um <clears throat> long sure. strider. A long strider, nice. So, uh, I have 5,000 feet of movement. Yes. <laughs> uh, is that her game? Yeah, 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 I hear. Uh, wait, hold on. I I'm doing this thing um, because... Road Take 20, your time, yeah. Road 20 is doing the thing for me that I can't see Margaret's token anymore. Oh, there. Never mind, I saw it. Anyway, uh, dragging you guys to three different kinds of room. Give me a sec. Do, 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 do. Gurp, if we die, <laughs> if I, uh, if, if something goes wrong, Gurp, take the immovable rod and just run. This uh, is perfect. Splitting the party, right? This is perfect. Perfecto. After this, after this quest, I'll start the bakery. <laughs> I'll go home with you my know, wife. Not I want to meet my orc girlfriend again, and then you know, <laughs> be on our merry way. Yeah. Mm. Oh shit! I rolled a nat one on a d twenty. Ah, we're gonna die! We're gonna die! You know what? I'm gonna roll too, just because. Uh -huh. gonna... Jokes on you! You can't have a nat one. Bond for luck! <laughs> Holy shit! Holy, Holy shit! Boys. Wait, but Boys. that's only but that's only oh. for you or No. You can for pass bond bond for luck, you can pass it to someone else. Okay, so let me reroll <laughs> the net one. Maddie, <laughs> Maddie, check the check the camera bro. <laughs> what oh, no. is that? That one? That's a net one? Oh my uh, god, right? Yeah. I don't know. Nope. Yep. Yep. It's uh, gonna happen. It's tonight's the night. Tonight's the night. Right. I guess I win the lot. Uh, the lottery. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Ah, all right. So you, you guys are that. here, but I have to go to Mar Margwix first. As you can see, uh, Margwix. Mm hmm. Uh. Actually, yours is not going down. It's actually going up. I know. Yes. I know. And you do notice that you are here behind the statue. Okay. I'm just going to sit here with Meganut. And Mega said... What about the magic wand to turn me to magical girls? Meganut, if we stay here long enough, they will do all the work for us. That is what they call back home privilege. 
Ah, okay. We sit. Just soak in the privilege, Magna. Just soak it in. <laughs> hey, dear, are you gonna really stay there, Margaret? Or call me? Yeah, I'm gonna stay here. I mean, we don't know she went upstairs. <laughs> yeah, we don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just... Poopy, can you stand guard downstairs and wait? Wait until... Wait, wait until they're wondering where we are? Poopy <laughs> looks at me and gives me a thumbs up with their eyes though i barely see it so i don't know if they understood so they go down the stairs one of their paws becomes a thumb for a second just to give you a thumbs up <laughs> uh they go downstairs they they keep a lookout and they stare <laughs> all right if that's the case be a sec just reading some stuff. Okay, there you go. So, for the two, for the one that two of you guys are going below, you guys are right here. <laughs> All right. One, you see this. Uh, for you, Clavis and Gurp, you do see that there's supposed to be a portcullis, but the portcullis has been raised up. So those clicking uh, wait, Clavis, wait. yeah. Sabini Clavis, uh, give him three minutes. So me and Nicholas first. Okay, okay, wait. Uh Nicholas and Tia. You there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you see that there is another set of crypts. And you see that there is actually filled with cobwebs and there's like a um slab stones and you see that there's like a a laid a laid mummified skeleton on those tables do you see it yes yes okay and if you look at them um all their eye sockets has gemstones and they holding oh. like they are clutching like some sort of a holy symbol and even the holy symbol is very valuable as it is ma either made of gold or silver. And right, I did you? I, oh, yeah, go, go, go. Also, yeah. um, there's some sort of look like a, some sort of a sacred fame paladin. As you can see, they're also clutching like, um, like some sort of a rusty sword. Oh, okay. Uh-uh. Huh. Well, we're here. <laughs> Look at the um, now what? Okay. So, it's not grave robbing. It's archaeology. Research. So, do you want to explore first, then come back, or like loot already? I mean, if we can, if we loot them all, we can just go back up. Right. And not to worry, right? I get, I cast Mage Hand DM, and I tell Nicolette, like, maybe ready a punch, just in case. I don't know, maybe they'll wake up, I don't fucking know. Wait, before you touch anything, what is this? Is this like a hole, or is this like a, you know, a a hole. in the middle? Oh, that, uh, it's not a hole, it's one of those, you know, pillar thingy. Oh, pillar in the middle. Okay, yeah. okay, 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 okay. I, the, um, I, I go near Tia, just in case, yeah? I, um, I'm gonna guard you. Wait, where are you touching first? Let, uh, let's try, this let, one. This one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Just so, yeah. near, near the stairs, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm ready a punch. Uh, okay. Uh, hello, Nat Tweeny. Thanks for following. Enjoy the show. Nat, it's Nat Twenty DM. Nat Twenty. It's Twenty. Nat Twenty Tweeny. Twe okay. Mm -hmm. No, it's Twenty. Like Nat Twenty, baby. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Fuck. Right next to Dad. Howdy. Howdy. Welcome Howdy. to the studio. We're about to maybe die. Okay. Because we split the party. 
I wonder okay. whose fault that was. Anyway, so, um, Mikaleth, you're gonna do the thing? Oh, no, yeah. I'm just readying a punch. It's the Mage hand! And I, so you, I try to get the scepter it's clutching. Or I like see. the holy symbol it's clutching. I, uh, wait, wait, wait. I, yeah, uh, I, should I stop, be I stop. Wait, that. Yeah, yeah. I should be here, yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. I can, like, boom, you know? <laughs> Alright, now's the time. Yoink! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yoink! Right, you, mm -hmm. you yeah. yoink the holy symbol, and this holy symbol is made like gold. Oh. And as you uh, actually yeah. take it, with the mage hand, the hands move, the skeletal hand uh. move and clutch back. Oh. 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 And you see... Oh. Oh. They're holding hands! Oh. And you see this skeleton rise up, holding up, holding <laughs> like an arm, holding his like rusty sword and armor. And you can see like uh, the eye sockets made of gemstones. It's still attached. Oh. It's that still attached and it looks at you and then... Yeah. Uh, can you try and giving it back? I I, I I give back the holy symbol. <laughs> just, just try giving it back. I try giving back the holy symbol. I, I see. And I say apologies. Um, we were looking for our walking stick. Hi. And as you try to give it back, and it's just. What, what's happening? What's he doing? What is he doing? Trying, trying to move the thing. Hold on. Trying to move the what? The DM's trying to move the thing. Oh. Oh, okay. He, he, he okay. turns back. Holy I shit. Nicholas, I, I guess if we touch them, they'll awaken. So that's five things to keep track of, if ever. Uh, right. I look down this area, DM. You look down the area, and it seems like there is more tunnels in this place. All right. Ooh. We'll just make Thank our you. way forward carefully, keeping oh. eye out for traps. Uh, I keep forgetting that Nicholas can't see in the dark. Ah, don't worry. Fire. Fire fist. I am. No, no. Actually, you do see like there's like lit candles. Oh, there's really? the candles. Yeah. We're fine. And it's kind of odd because even though for the lit, the candles have been here for a very long time, like the wax hasn't been melted away, Ooh. and it's still lit for this long. You know, my my real question is, who lit all those candles? You wanna try investigate it? The candles. No. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> That's just a question I asked from Tia. I'm like, Tia, who do you think lit all those candles? I, I shrug and I go, does it really matter at this point? It's probably and those skeletons. Then I look at Tia I'm like, would you like to investigate? <laughs> Not really. Nicholas, have I... you ever heard of a nightlight? Nightlight? Is yeah. something that you use in the, in the dark? And it's so like... people usually cast the spell Continual Flame when their uh -huh. children are sleeping and they keep it lit in their room. Right. Oh. As you can yeah. see, the... in this area, the... yeah. uh, it is a closed, it is actually a closed portcullis. And you do see through, you can see through the portcullis that there is some sort of another um, stone platform, and there is actually like a mummified figure in the middle of the flat platform. I, I think it's time to turn back. <laughs> Unless, you know, you wanna. I, I, I as, pump my fist up. As you, as you guys up there, I'm gonna jump to the other party, so. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, so, Clavis and Gerp, you there? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We're here. We're here. So, there's, there used to be a portcullis, 
but the portcullis mm-hmm. is already open because uh remember the witch that you guys turned it uh turned yeah. it seems like this is the click you hear Ooh. and inside the click you see another set of crits Ooh. And okay. again, there you do see like all this skeletal figure is wearing armors, rust, and they're clenching like rusty swords. But they also have like eye gemstone, um, gemstone on their eye sockets, and do you see like a holy symbol that either like made of gold or silver? Ooh, look at that! Do you want to touch it? I point to my bird. Yeah. And uh which bird? The bird. Gunter. 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 Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So I I do like a uh, wait a minute, you know, mm-hmm. like 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 pat in the back. Okay. And I'd like to get Gunther to start checking out the place. DM. Oh neat. Yeah, you do see chicken place. Uh, skeletons are all there, laying around, armors and valuables attached. Also, you do see another portcullis, but the portcullis is closed. Uh, okay, so he returns back, and he points to Clavish. Yeah. Uh, like the go ahead sign. Okay. I go forward. Go forward. Yeah. Oh, you see closely. They look dead. You're dead. They look dead. What's this? Is this a well? Ah, uh, no, it's just a pillar. Ah, it's just a but, pillar, okay. But yung pillar hindi lang may kang ganda. <laughs> <laughs> we chose the right path. <laughs> We, we chose the right path. Favorite is happening. Ano yun? No low budget. Ano ba yun? Um, I pray to the watchers. Uh, watch the dead over. Uh, please watch the dead in this uh, realm. Uh, I pay my respects and I move forward. Uh, can I see through the portcullis? Yeah, you can see the portcullis and. Uh, yeah. What do I see? Yeah, uh, give me a sec. You see that there is a. Hold on, give me a sec. What is this? Wait, is it really a portcullis? Ah, no, it's just oh. it's just an iron door, pala. On your hmm. side, it's just iron door. Well, Gerp, um, we can't pass here. I attempt to open the door first. Ah, oh, you can? Okay, sure, you can try. I push the door. Maybe it's a pull door. Or a sliding uh, door. The thing uh, is, uh, it is a sliding door. As you can see, there's no... There's actually no knobs to turn. Okay. I slide the door. Uh, it seems like it would budge. I slide it the opposite way. Still the same. I slide I upwards. Sh- I shout, "Open sesame!" and I clap three times. I massage the door. You're, I, I, I caress the door. <laughs> Please open. No matter how much you try, it did budge. So I look at Clavis. I point I like upwards. Your- I point upwards, and then I'm like, the 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 twisty thing. What if we, you know? So he he gestures. So they they, they want to stay should, here, like, you know, go back up, twist yeah. the thing, check this thing again. Okay, check so I'll, deal. Gesture. I'll I'll leave I'll leave you here, or do you want to go with me? I'm gonna go with you. Okay, okay. The end. We go up and we the turn the winch. Un unturn the winch. All right. Uh, and, before and, I before I let you do that, I am going to call Miss Cactor, Margaret. I yes. knew it. Yes. So, Margaret, 
on your side you hear actually you're not hearing the thing yet but you do like listening of Megan not talking you see i found big tree on the tree there is nuts <laughs> And then, so fucking haiku. <laughs> and then, I found big tree. On tree, there is nuts. And then, when I found nuts, there is more nuts. How interesting. Tell me more about the nuts. Yes. One time, I found big nut. Not too big. I break the nut. It makes more nuts. What? What kind of nut is that? The peanut? Oh, have you heard of the nut that can make you very fat? Coconut? Yeah, the coconut. Wow, so smart, Meganut. Yeah, we smart. I'm very surprised that I did graduated in graduated nursing. Ah, uh, nursing. Why would you go to nursing? That it's it seems that cleric is doesn't work on me, so I am trying to be a a barb. A what? A barber. A barber, I see. A barber what? A barber? Why a barber? Because I got angry. And smash oh. things. Barbar a barbarian, not a barber. <laughs> no, no, no. It's bar barber. Short for barbarian. Sure thing, Meganut, if you say so. So, not only you are talking with Meganut, you mm. do see like there's something marching. Uh, towards the chapel. Oh, okay. What's happening? You see old men and women wearing raggedy, raggedy clothes, uh, clothes, and they've been and they've been led by an elderly woman, and they are all headed to chapel. They all look like this. Wow. And it, while they're walking, they're actually like praying as some sort of like an Asian hymn. Oh, okay. Do they seem dangerous? Um, on sight, they look like old and harmless. But based on their hymns, they they look like uh they sound like they're like religion type of person. They're very religious. Nicolette's gonna die, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go write in a piece of paper. Religious people and hymning. And give it to Poopy and tell Poopy to run to whoever the first person that they find that's off the party. <laughs> Alright, Any, anything else you like to do? Oh, I will also doodle Nicholas with X's on their eyes, um, upside down. <laughs> 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 So, as you day marching on, uh, will you do you want to spy them further, or you're just gonna sit there? Where are they going? In where are they going in? It side? seems like they're headed to the entrance of the uh, entrance of the chapel. Okay, I think I think I'm fine. <laughs> I think I don't want to spy on them. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. All right. Uh, even though you didn't spy them, you don't see what they're doing, but you do hear like a loud, uh, like a loud audible voice that says, Before we enter the temple, 
I should read the book of ornaments of the sacred flame as they are oh, now no. fall into the fallen flame. Chapter, Chapter one. one. <laughs> Chapter one, verse one. The beginning of the flame. And they basically just ceremony. Oh no. Anyway, I'm going to jump towards here. This is our first story. T. All right, Tia and Mikolith. So Portcullis is down. Uh, you don't you don't see any lever around. Uh, I, I, I'm like so. Wait, Tia. The Portcullis is down. Yeah, the portcullis, uh, it's still closed. That's what I mean. Oh, you mean uh, up? So I'm like, so Tia, I can just, you know, punch through it, or do we call up uh, everyone else? So hear me out. <laughs> okay. Punch it. Right. <laughs> then DM, can I help action Nicolas by like by like casting press the digitation on the portcullis and putting like a target? Sure. Like close? I, right? I'm I'm gonna roll two D tens. Huh? At, I mean two D twenties, I mean. Okay. I'll move back and I say, hey, remember to get a running start. Oh, yeah, of course. In my second. There you go. Uh, do you, th you don't think if I break this, the roof's gonna collapse on us, right? It, it, it's not gonna happen, right? That's not how hard colleges work, I reckon. Okay. Uh, wait, give me a sec. Oh, I got, okay. I got them. Hello? Hmm, naka check na po. Hmm? that disturbing the sarcophagi wakes up the creature, we would immediately turn this corner, then check that place out. Then kung wala, then if it's really like, fuck, di kaya, yeah. we're gonna go back up. Uh, yeah, if, guys, if ever you guys, I see you as clear as the end, yeah? I'm back. Oh. So, what are you guys doing? Alright. I'm hitting this, this thing. Nicole, you're rolling damage, DM. Yeah. Hey, you try to roll the damage in the thing. Uh, it turns out this is not the ordinary portcullis that you uh, try to punch it out. It seems like My... no matter how much you punch, it feels like um it won't budge. 
We have armor, armor damage. damage. Bruh, there's a gimmick. I, plot I, armor. Okay, I look at the part callus and it says plot. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> yeah, 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 I look at the callus and I say, I thought you were stronger. <laughs> Alright, uh, in <laughs> other words, out of character thing and not not like a uh, character knowledge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't want you to break this. Uh, I don't want to break this um portcullis with Mikalev, OP, OP, inanimate object damage thing. Whatever you what bullshit it's just see, thing. See, isn't that OP? <laughs> no, I, I know it's not OP for high for the higher. I mean for this certain sort of level. But however, it's kind of OP for me because you can easily break anything you want. As an right, object. Right. So, so the DM saying, "I right, boys, this yeah, is yeah. Nicholas' real weakness." Plot. I, 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 again, I look at the port callus and it says it's a uh, plot. The and then DM, like, yeah. no worries, dude. We're chill. All right. Also, it's the as a reason. The part is made out of plot. I I can't break it. Also, oh no! Please. Your re- your only weakness, plot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, one, I more, know. one more reasons. One Where more reasons. I? I cannot just give. I'm just gonna give you the breaking part colors because there's actually a literal puzzle for you guys to solve. Wow. Yeah, it's true. It's true. You it's guys such... are gonna solve it alone. No, no, no. We're gonna get the smart person. Oh. Yeah. I wonder where that person is. They according must be to the ga- According to the map, they're here in the darkness. Yeah? <laughs> well, I can see through darkness, but I can see those things. <laughs> I look at I look at Nicholas and I say, let's head back up. Eh? Alright, then DM and scene. Um, if you're gonna go to me and Mick, we'll be upstairs. Na. Yeah. DM, I, I go near the skeleton. Yeah, I try, like, <laughs> pretend to grab like the skeleton's trinket just to wake him up a little bit and then just put it down again and then let's go <laughs> okay i'm just making sure he's still there you know right I- <laughs> going up again so i'm going to uh clavis and girl uh clavis girl what are you doing <laughs> Yeah, uh, we take the immovable rod, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. let yeah, we take the immovable rod and let the winch unturn. All right. You hear like tick 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 tick, tick then and then the port col- You hear the port call is suddenly that slam close. Is it downstairs? It's downstairs. Oh, and I look at Gerp. Gerp, I think we should let the other party know. So, uh. Mikaleth and Tia, um, you back, you back in the. Wait, why is it us? That was so quick. Yeah, you're back in the. I was about the. Okay, no worries, no worries. Ah, right. so I look at Mikaleth and I say, um, let's check where we left Meganut and Margot. I hope Meganut hasn't eaten them. Oh yeah. Then I peek DM. I peek. How's the massaging going? All right, it's. Still ongoing, and you hear like Cindy says, "Come on, put your backs to it." I didn't feel a thing, and you see, you hear like the knights are like, "We're trying, okay." They're still not back. Let's go look for them. Huh? I guess Poopy runs into you at this point. Ah! You know, mm. with the with the leather for 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 the boy. Oh, hey, uh, P zero zero P one three. Yes. It gives you a leather and then it shows you upside down with crosses on your eyes and your tongue out, and I think, huh. and I think. I forgot the word they added there. What is the word? Ah, fuck. I want to rule intelligence if I can discern what it means. <laughs> I think it's like prayer or nuns or something, something like that. Uh, nah, nah, nah. I see, it's uh, none your business. I ruled a five. That's a, that's a flat five of anything. Inside investigation, that's, a, that's, that's just a five. 
I don't I don't get it yet. I shows it shows it to the other person that is, might be smarter. Shouldn't it be inside? I'm like, why are you showing it upside down? Isn't it supposed to be like I turn it around like so it's gonna be right side up? <laughs> I'm not upside down anymore. So what does it mean? X mark on the eyes? Um, how? What? What does it all mean? I, I go upstairs, DM, and I look for Marco. <laughs> okay, is it easy to decipher, or is Mikola just dumb? Oh, I just oh that oh oh that just means there are holy people coming over, and they might kill you because they're singing very loudly. Oh. Okay, I say, Margo, we might need your help. But what? There seems to be like a lot of smart things that we need smart person with downstairs. Meganut is smart. Why don't you bring Meganut? But we want you to be there because you're an important member of this gang with your technology. Oh, I'm glad that you're sucking my dick. I sh- huh? <laughs> I shall go downstairs with you in that case. Because you love right. sucking my dick so much. Are you okay? What are you talking about? Thing. What do you mean? You're sucking my dick. That's what you are you not sucking my dick? Okay. If sure. you're not sucking my dick, I'm not gonna go down. Okay, fine. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, wait. Okay, let's go down. I'll go with them. Alright, you guys go down, going with them. Uh, um, let's take the uh, other way. Uh, like where Clavis and Gurp went. Because I, we, th- me and Mikala tell you guys, the way we passed it seemed like a dead end. Uh, what about you, uh, Clavis and Gurp? Yeah, uh, we were going back to where you guys, so I don't, I think we see you from here. And we um, tell you, uh, yeah. Yeah, what do you mean, Sabinga? Uh, no. Yeah, uh, I, told the, I told the party, uh, we turned the winch, and I think there is more to it than meets the eye. Oh, all right. Let's all go that way and check it out. Yeah, okay. So we go down Kusangame? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, where you guys came from. Yeah, yeah. And I, uh, I, tell, I tell everything to Margo. I think you're smart enough uh, for this. Uh, our pea-sized brains can't do it. Uh, and also, don't disrespect the dead, uh, please. Let them rest. They're okay. watching over us. Okay. So what's this? Oh, there's a winch here. Where so are you guys? Where, where are we? Did we we're move? here. We're here. We're here. Where's the winch? Yeah. Where's yeah. the winch? We, we we point the winch. It's uh wait, <laughs> ruler. It's this one. We, we we turn this and uh, a portcullis will go up, mm. but there is a silver door downstairs. Ah, it's a I think steel door with plot armor. That there is a puzzle that we should solve. So oh. maybe there is another device or button that we should uh, activate for this one. Oh, hmm. See, what, I what wonder about you guys? if anybody experienced anything similar. Yeah, what, what did you guys see on the other side? Tia, is Tia here with us? Hello, hello. So, we the place where we were, the winch, uh, the portcullises were closed. And for some reason, they wouldn't open, no matter how hard Nicholas uh, punched the wall. Uh, the metal uh, is uh, made out of plot. It's hard. Really hard. Yeah, so maybe there is another winch that you, we should turn on your side. All right. Ah, uh, no, there wasn't. There wasn't. 
We checked everywhere. Oh wait, I'm so dumb. There's a winch over here. Do you understand a winch or a pillar? Is that a winch or a pillar? That's a that's a winch. There's there's two winch. Oh, it's the same exact drawing. All right. I, I thought this is a pillar, and then the winch is just you know theater of the mind. So what <laughs> if we send some people down to check like if the portcullis is moved? What yeah. do you think, Margwex? Also, a reminder, uh, both of the winch doesn't have any handle. Well, we have the rod. We have, have one the rod. rod. Uh, maybe I can use... Maybe I can use... They're supposed to turn them at the same time. My uh... rod. Why can't we ask the guards? They seem to know about the key for the first part, Paulus. Yeah, sure. Our guards seem busy. Why? Hey, can I? No. Can you? Add? Never mind. No. What? 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 What we're thinking? Nothing. I'm not thinking anything. Yeah. So maybe we should just look. DM is there. Any stick related that that can be used as a makeshift li lever? Um, lever. If you have some sort of a replacement for the original lever, uh, you know you did you did put an immovable rod as one of the option, but any yeah, and... but anything can I actually put in the winch? Ah, if you guys have like a, a sword or something. No, no, Gerp Gerp has a staff. Is that can that be used? Gerp, can we use your staff? I have a that... quarter staff. Yeah, your quarter staff. So your quarter staff is taller than you, no? Yes. <laughs> yeah, can we use this? Are you okay with us using this as a makeshift li lever? Aye, aye. Thumbs All up. Right. Alright, thumbs up. Okay, that's a yes. So... Margot, we use the immovable rod for the first lever, and then I'll hold this one as for the second lever. Yeah. Okay. Then you guys go down and just and then just shout Tobleron if there's a problem. Okay. Okay. DM, we do that. DM. Hear me out. So, as we use the immovable rod first, right? Mm -hmm. To turn the first. Uh, what lever? Yeah, we we, we turn maybe for one 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 lever first, and then we lock. After the that, we push the button, <laughs> so it doesn't move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we do. It we we. That's why I, we are using one rod, uh, the immovable rod for one lever, and then I'll hold the second one. Question: If what? If the other one moves, does the other one move? Oh, we we haven't tried it yet. Right, because they're tied together. So technically speaking, if example you, example if they're a gear system, right? Technically speaking, right? Yeah. You if you secure one, you don't need to secure the other one. Oh. Yeah. Right. But but, but we already secured this one, the one we're on right now. The port college downstairs opens, but there is a steel door that is locked. Okay, okay. So maybe if we turn the other one at the same time, maybe the steel door opens? Maybe? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. How do I say this in character? Wait, or do you have to do it one by one? We, we don't know. Because if you do it one by... Because if, if, um, if you're trying to open the one in under underground, right? There's a thing there. If you... If you can open this and that one is still open, that might mean that it's okay to just turn them one by one. Uh, ah. But the person can't go back up. Ah, so we turn the other one open and then check? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. We can all go as a party, use the immovable, immovable rod on the second one, and then we check. Okay. I'm okay with that. Alright, what's the plan? We open, we use the, we use the immovable rod for this one near Tia. We mm -hmm. lock it in place and then we go down where Tia and Mick came from. Alright. Yeah. As you do that, uh, 
Who's checking downstairs where Tia, Tia and Mick came from? Uh, as a party DM, we will go down as a party. Okay. Uh, the one who is opening, uh, locking the winch is the immovable rod. So, yeah. you turn the south winch, right? The south. Yes. Okay. Yes. As you, as that winch actually turn, uh, on where you guys headed, like the catacombs where Tia and Mick came through, uh, you notice that the portcullis is open. Wow! Big brain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then we move forward. So we're gonna go back down? Yeah, we're gonna go back down as a party. Hey. Because the, the portcullis is uh, open. Uh, Let's side, go. Yeah. Yes. DM, so we go back down as a party and bring the nug. The Meg Nug. Okay. Not Meg. No. Yes. Yes, no. I'm coming. With my wam wam. Yum 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 yum. I'm an actual thing. Uh, uh, Grr! Grr. So, yeah, you do reach like the where you guys came from. And you do notice like the portcullis is up. Uh, your member never touched the corpse because reasons. And as the portcullis opens, you see that there is a, a platform over here. Wait, hold on. Um... I'll pull it in the size uh, for all the chat can see the map. Yeah, uh, is it okay if I go first, uh, party? Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nicholas can go second. Uh, don't disturb the dead. Okay, I'm okay. watching you guys. Don't disturb the and, dead. Uh, as you can see, uh, inside this tomb, there is there is a a platform, and on top of it, there's a mummified figure. Also, while the mummy white figure is just laying down, it also has like it also like a has like some sort of preserved armor hold clenching uh she's also clenching something like a scepter. She so this is a woman's mummified body, right? Yes, it's a mummified uh this is a mummified um a body of a woman. And uh, not only she has like some sort of a armor, she also have a a flowing robes wearing around. Okay, uh, I tell that to the party guys. I think I found the scepter, and this is for real this time. I think this is it. Uh, just, just grab it. I think. I think this wait. Is, uh, no. wait, no, no, I don't, <laughs> I don't want to disturb the dead. Don't, don't, uh, no. This is uh, no. This is a uh, Saint. I think this is Saint Brenna. I'm just saying, because the Inquisition is coming. This is yeah, actually no, Saint Brenna. The what? The what? Right. The Inquisition. I didn't know yep, that. Yep. In character, right. I didn't know that. Oh shit, okay. Um... Wait, 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 wait. Let's try it from far away first. Okay, DM, we'll do the same shit, I yeah. tell everyone to move back, like, a bit further back, then Mage Hand. DM, is this open? Is this the one uh, to my north? This open? area, ba? Uh, the, this, I think this is the one. Or this is, yeah. uh, this is, this is the one, no? This is the one. Wait, hold on. Let me re reveal that area. Very good things. How about we throw Megnot? <laughs> we throw Megnot. No, no, no. They're a important person to the community there. Let me plot armor. <laughs> they feeling like I'm dead. Oh, um. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll just stay here. I'll just stay here. Okay. All right. So, who's grabbing the thing for the thing? Mage hand, me, Tia, though. DM. Me, 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 Tia. Don't take it. Just try and like you know. <laughs> DM, I try to like. I try to like stroke the thing out of his hands, like uh -huh. you know, slowly like grasp it. Slowly grasp it with your hand, you know. <laughs> All right. 
slowly grasped it. And for those moments as you slowly grasped it, I, I also slowly removed the thing from my hand. Hello? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So... Slowly moving out. And as it released the grasp, you have the scepter. However, I, we out, boys. I, however, I, I, the mummified figure rises. Put it back. Put it back. You put, put it, back? it back. Okay. No, we need no, this. No, no. It's too late. Don't. Uh, the um, if this mummy rises up and looks at me, I kneel down and I will try to communicate with it. All right. You kneel oh, down. Shit. It did rise, and you see this mummified figure. I kneel down and I try to communicate with it. Oh <laughs> shit! And you can Neil, also the same. <laughs> and you can also tell that. Uh, Why does it have fake boobs? Those aren't boobs, but it looks like boobs. Oh, you know, dead but you know, dead bodies uh, boobs can be inflated. I, I, no, I, I, no, those are not boobs. That's a rib cage. Yeah, that's boobs. a rib cage. Yeah, that's a rib cage. <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, <laughs> I uh, kneel down. The, does it look intelligent, DM? Can it? Can do you think? I know that it can communicate. <laughs> All right. It looks around and looks at you. I'm kneeling down, head down, uh, uh, left arm to the chest. I'm uh, sorry I'm kneeling disturbing. down, right arm to the chest, and then I have my one of my hands up, and then I'm like, I'm calling Asmodeus name <laughs> to protect me. Asmodeus, Asmodeus, please protect me. <laughs> Asmodeus, Lord, my Lord, please protect me from this shit. <laughs> shut up, Nick, shut up. <laughs> DM, you, you, may, you may continue, you may continue, DM. Alright, it looks at you, and then it made a it made like a grave. It made actually like this horrifying scream and points at you standing, and you can see that it's moving slowly, slowly towards you, and you can see that this thing is very aggressive. As, as what they use right, my so DM ready action. Uh, what do you mean ready yeah. action? We're doing the thing. Uh, re- ready action DM before it starts. No, uh, no, 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 no. Let's mm-hmm. stop. Right, what's the plan? Are we gonna run? Nat 20 initiative, baby. Uh, Wait. We don't know the plan yet. Let, let's just roll. Let's just roll first. I don't know. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. 20. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess I'm gonna roll my own dice. Okay. I'm ro- I'm I'm rolling my own dice. Wait long. I'm rolling my own dice. Oh, I'm not. Uh, I only rolled to put it in initiative, but I got a. I got a oh. not twenty. Oh my god! Sure, I'll roll my um, dice too. I look at you what guys. No, Nick, you already rolled a crit. It's fine. The yeah, oh. mine is a nineteen. I'll just roll for the thing. Mine is a nineteen. Ah, okay. we're definitely dying, guys. <laughs> Oh, it's all that 20s! <laughs> Alright, y'all, hear me out. Vader... Vader's character does have a portent 20. I just want Echo to pump this guy with all the fucking smites. <laughs> just one time! Well, we... Uh... Yeah, I, I want I want to do it as well. So we're gonna so we're gonna we're gonna commit to the bit. I feel yeah, yeah. like we should try to kill it. Uh, Cause fine. if it's a saint, why is it undead? Because it's fun. Tama, tama. If it's a saint, why is it undead? Tama. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Wait, if it's undead, if that we're going at that logic, that must be family. <laughs> Where are my D8s? I need to prepare my D8s. This bitch is gonna die. Do you remember it? So Echo, oh. you can uh, bonus action one of your normal paladin smites. Then automatic nat 20. <laughs> All the other smite shit. <laughs> on, on, on my hit, I just roll how many D8s? 3 D8s? 
And right. one, no, 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 no. Alright, Tiag, you go first. 48s. DM so minus anyway. 19. Uh, wait, let me into it. Right. Um, so uh, my gun uh, turns into a... Can I... I really want to do something stupid, though. Can I do something stupid, yeah? Okay, yeah, sure. Go for sure. it. DM, I'm with my revolver. And I... <laughs> Shocking grasp it. 16 to hit. 16 to hit. Let's see. Yeah, it hits. Uh, 6 plus how much my charisma? Plus 4, yeah. That. Uh, 6 plus 4, 10 lightning damage. Oh gosh, okay. Then I run back. It doesn't have a reaction until the start of its next turn. All right. Flavis, and turn. Flavis, Flavis, Flavis. No, it's Mikolet's turn first. Mikolet first, yeah. 21 ka, Mik. Mm-hmm. Sure. Uh, okay. How high is the ceiling, DM? Ceiling... Too high. Get a check. It's, uh... Hold on. Ah, it's only like 15 feet high. Ah, alright. So I can't do the thing. Anyways, let me just see how much I'm gonna hit it for. Uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. I got it, I got it. DM, um, I use my bonus action to activate my tattoo. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So there you go, and then activate rush flaming fist, force damage. Okay, 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 okay. This is everything. Let's go, baby. Then I'm gonna super power punch this guy. Come on, baby boy. Just roll a. It doesn't have to be a natural twenty, you know. No pressure. That's a. Uh... What is this? 17? Hmm? 17? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 17 hits. Ooh, fuck you, bitch. I rolled a 3d6 plus 1d8. Yeah, it's gonna be honest with you. If my dog dies because we're not running, I'm not gonna like any one of you anymore. <laughs> 3d6. Uh, 2 plus 3, 5 plus... Three, that's eight, and then one D eight. Wait a second, twenty eight. Uh, here it is. One plus one D eight. Two plus five, that's seven. So fifteen total damage, DM. Fifteen. Okay. Uh, that's with force. Yeah. Right. Force and fire. How how high, high up are you, Mick? Uh, I'm not flying because it's it's just fifteen feet. <laughs> gotcha. I the end turn over here. All right, Margrex, it's your turn. Okay. Doggy goes here, and then they will attack. Uh, force rend. Bite. What did it do? All right, six for six. Six. Okay. Six ports. Um. Yeah. yeah. Your your poopy is made of adamantium, right? Why? I'm just asking. Ye yes. All right. So not magical. So he only takes like three points of damage. Wow. Imagine having wait, ma wait. resistance to force. Oh, force. Okay. Never mind. Just full Sorry. Force. I'm like oh, wow. Shit. First time. <laughs> Holy shit, what? Shielding? Bricks of shielding? They're definitely taking that, right? Okay, uh, anyway, I'll shoot them. Fuck, imagine shooting something that is... that that is that seems resistant to the stuff, no. I don't think I have any magical stuff. Um... Let me check Fireball? first. No, no, I wanna check first because I don't know what my... Did I even uh, put <laughs> what my magical stuff were? I don't think I did. 
No, I'm going to use something else. I'll just do this. Sure. Let's cast a spell. Uh, ta I'll reposition the toxic brew. Ca Tasha's toxic brew. Okay. He like here. And then spew it over like that. As so though they're the only one hit, you know? <laughs> All right. Oh wait, hold on. I was wait. Mikolet, is there a fire involved in your punch, right? Uh, yeah. How much? Fire how much damage? Your bonus? How much? Uh, how much the damage for the fire again? Uh, just two. Oh, just two. Okay. Uh, here's the thing. It's a mommy, and I know what you're uh -huh. thinking. If there's a mommy, it's invulnerable to fire. However, this type of mommy is actually uh, immune to fire. Immune? Okay. Because there's a reason. Uh, while the mommy is laying down, there's actually like water driplets or while it's uh, like dripping all over its body. So the entire mommy wrap is wet. Ew. Yeah. We're fighting a moist mummy? Disgusting. Yeah. I right. look at Margaret and says, get out of this place. This I, place okay. is disgusting. <laughs> I told you we should have run. <laughs> this place is disgusting. I, I hit it with acid. And what should I roll um, for it? Let's see. Let's go. What are my... What is penis shape? Huh? What penis shape? There's no penis. What do you mean? There's no penis shape. It's just acid. <laughs> Sassid, what do you mean? Um, where are you? Level one. Uh, ugh, so stupid. There we go. Three as a damage. Oh gosh. Uh, this is a mummy. So I'm gonna roll the dexterity. Yep, yep. Okay, it's just one. Take three uh, as a damage. Three. <laughs> Acid damage, totally not penis damage. Um, <laughs> and um, I think every round takes 2d4 or the start of turn. Yep, is it? It does, yeah, 2d4 at the start of turn, unless it it washes itself off as an action. And turn, Calavis, your turn. Oh my god, he has to rip the bandages off or uh, else. There. Do I read the action and wait for Gerp? Travis, I suggest you go you go to the shaft of the penis. Over here, the shaft? No, no, right there. Go right there. Poopy. Ah, okay. Here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Poop. No, no, shaft in. Poopy can do a thing. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Tama, tama. Okay, okay. So, uh, Vader can, like, no, he can just call it. Okay, so Vader will call the na, the na, na twenty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or DM, I attack with my claw and I say, "Go to sleep and go back to where do saints go." All right. Uh, wait, hold on. <laughs> I forgot to roll for not Meg. Oh, I am. The... I'm pretty sure Echo's gonna murder it. Yeah, I'm gonna murder this guy. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Well, we don't know that. Maybe this thing has like uh, 500 HP. Nah, bro, I believe. Okay, so anyway, uh, you did the thing. Uh, what did long it? Go, go, go DM, go DM. And I mean, what, what did you do? What did you do? Uh, I think it's an uh, crit. So I attack with my claw and I say, go back to Saints Row. And yeah, I, that's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> divine sense. No. Divine sense. Uh, divine sense. Uh, divine smite. Yeah, I divine smite this this beast. Natural 20? Yeah, it's a natural 20. Yeah, Vader has a portent. Okay. I activate my portent. You have fallen to my trap oh, card. Wait, so I'll do, the pierce, I'll do the piercing damage first. That is a 13 plus 6. That's a 19. Does my crit times 3 ba? I times two, sorry, times two. Yeah, I guess it's 
I think you roll like double. I I, I draw I roll six dice. Okay, so my piercing damage is nineteen. My divine smite is that's an eight plus seven. That's a fifteen plus fifteen plus sixteen. That's a thirty-one. Okay. Nineteen plus thirty-one. Nineteen piercing and thirty-one. Uh, uh what's, what's this? Divine damage, holy damage, uh, radiant damage. Radiant yeah. damage. What's what's yes. the total again? Uh, nineteen on the piercing and then thirty-one on the radiant. Okay. DM, I forgot. Uh, the 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 damage from Tasha's caustic brew doesn't happen until their turn. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, then uh, I'll end my turn. Then balik ako in three minutes. Mga kapit lang kami. Okay. Holy crap! Wow. Is he alive? Is he alive? He's, he's dying. Okay. Again, uh, I'll, I'll 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 be RB. I'll be Same action for the next turn, DM. Right. I'll be right back. Gurp, your turn. <laughs> and there's a, wait, there's a start blushing. Ah <laughs> uh, wait, DM. No, it's your turn. Nine ka. Oh, it's my turn. Okay. Ah, uh, they take three damage. <laughs> All right, she takes three damage. Uh, All right, is she is actually looking bad right now, and the one that you hold the scepter is Tia, so she's looking at Tia. And Tia, get ready for this, as she is going to look at you with a dreadful glare. So roll me your wisdom what? saving throw. I I I I I I. Yeah. What? I DM. Wait lang. My dice fell. Uh, okay. But I rolled a 15 plus 4 with my other one, so that's a 19. Well, okay. I mean, it, it's it's weird for the mommy has like a very low DC, but okay. <laughs> so that just like... Because just... if you punch me, it hurts. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't you don't mummies get a glare in the punch? Mm-hmm. Yeah, a glare of punch. And it's gonna make one attack towards Mikolith. Disadvantage. Disadvantage, of course. Yeah. Poopy does the Poopy does the cute thing. <laughs> I, you know what? I'm gonna roll the I'm gonna roll the dice on who rolls like the lowest dice and the higher dice. Okay, I knew it. I knew it. It rolled a six. Dang. <laughs> We're cursed. We're cursed right now. <laughs> so eleven should be missed to Mikolith. And that's gonna end the mummy's turn. So mm. Gurp, it's your turn finally. DM I bless the four people of Mati. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four. Ta-da! Alright, everyone's blessed. And as for good uh, action, and then uh, you put it you, you back. back. Meganad is done. <laughs> Meganad, stand back. Because uh, something might happen. <laughs> Watch your back. <laughs> Tia, it's your turn. I DM. Um, I turn my... Wait. Yeah, let's just fucking finish it off with a melee attack, eh? What? Uh, with advantage, DM, I shocking grasp it. Wait, 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 don't shocking grasp it! I need the AO! <laughs> why? Oh, oh, why? Because I have a thing. A I, DM, I react it, I, I redact it, and I re-frost it from far away. Okay, <laughs> go ahead. Natural 19. Alright, that actually hits. Um, that is... Plus four... Ten frost damage. Alright, and for that, how you kill Saint Brenna, the right. mummy. DM. Okay. I, 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 to death. <laughs> I, I cock my gun, and I fire it, and I say the cold never bothered me anyway. Yeah. Uh, nice. Since she didn't run away from that acid, she's still like melting. Right. Ah! 
Also, <laughs> also, it is Mega Nuts turn. Mega hey, Nuts gonna do? Hey, oh, 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 oh. Mega Nuts hits. Oh my gosh! You get the scepter? No. Mm. Not yet. Did it die? Remember, it's upstairs. Ah. Uh, but wait, wait. Are you sure? Scepter yes, right yeah. here. I want to be a magical girl. Not here. Yeah, it's uh, not here. It's upstairs. We used it to stop the winch. Imagine if she thinks that we we need to make her think that the immovable rod is the scepter, guys. Yeah, no, no, uh, we need the immovable rod. We need to give him the grip staff. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. The 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 staff is the key to this a uh, crypt. All right, and she says, "Ah, uh, okay." And you hear another voice. It's come on. You don't want to believe that. Words make them up, right. and you can see <laughs> what that cat is talking. Oh, you kill oh. Megan up now. And I said, Oh, hey guys, I, I'm Zach. I, yeah, that's I, I'm Megan. That's Wum Wum. So, um, you don't mind, and over the staff, and I'm gonna turn my girlfriend into a magical girl, or what. Oh, well, Lars, we're gonna kill you. Ah, uh, there it is. You said the word. You words. and what no. army? I, I yell out, you and what army? I got this, I got this. Wait, this, wait, what, this, what, what is Margaret talking? Okay. Uh, why, why was Megan not with us again, guys? Oh, they, they work for the, they work for, like, the church, but they're, like, a part-timer. You can kill them if you want. Think about this, Megan not. We're friends now, right? Yes. If any, if you, if Zach kills us, we can't be friends because I'll be dead. <laughs> well, I'm, well, I'm confused. <laughs> right. well, you die if you kill. <laughs> All right, Zach and Zach says, "God damn it, Nutty!" All right. We're not gonna kill them. I don't want to make my girlfriend cry. <laughs> and he says, "I'm also a magical cat, so planar travel." They disappeared. Okay. I don't want to spend yes. another hour of combat. So. <laughs> yes. My friend that was got an hour though. That was really quick. Your friend got what? My what friend got scammed by a fake Elon Musk. What? Oh no! What did he do? He clicked one of those links that say they'll give you um oh. crypto. Yeah, like the airdrops. Oh my god! You don't click on those. That was, it's a fake. It's a fake. Uh, no, a fake Elon Musk. It's so Elon, Elon Musk huh? account. It's Elon Musk. <laughs> no, I mean Elon Musk in name, but it's fake. Yeah, this is the reason why Elon Musk should not um. I I I. So DM, this is the person who I think you should raid. Um, yeah. they're a friend of ours. Their name's Asaki, and they're doing a re debut. Ooh. Okay. So a re debut is when like you change your stream setup for like your layout and like your model and they're doing that that's their name now well i'm a peace out Charles. good sesh good game good everything yeah bruh yeah that was fun thanks right, for right. the game thanks for vader thanks for the game, thanks. Right, vader with no his op support build <laughs> vader next time will it <laughs> <laughs> See you next session, later. See you next session. Pag- 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 p
I am canonically a time traveler that just hops in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who are you? Who are you? Cass, uh, Cass is like enough character. The one who got Isika into a different timeline. What is it? I forget her name. 